Let's begin. Like to view the tutorial? You know what? Yeah, sure. Why not? Game is designed to be played with a mouse. Input required is your mouse. You got to use your mouse to do it. Gotcha. Only when pointing the extended index finger can you interact with shit. Gotcha. Cursor mode is indicated with the cursor's imaging image featuring a hand extending all fingers. That means I can grab shit. Cool. Hang on. Do I got to do it now? Pick up the piece of trash on the right and place it in the trash can on the left. There we go. Just right click the change. Wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Situations in growing my grandpa that will require you to pick things up. Pl place things, grab things, do things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just click the button below to continue. Gotcha. Expect the cleaning process. You can use digits one, two, and three on your keyboards. Uh, to is in the crash can below. Oops. Cool. Weird feature, but all right. Party video options can be changed, but the, I already saw that. Okay, cool. Or the small question mark in the top right for late related to the game's configuration options. Right, there you go. Cool. That's it. All right, cool. Thank you. Week one. I excused Adrian during music class today and, she, and spoke with her about her recent string of demerits. It was our first time meeting outside of our Corley evaluations. I believe it went well. I can certainly understand Mrs. Richardson's classroom observations concerning Adrian's emotional state. She was, of course, intensely shy when we first met. As I understand it, she is similarly withdrawn in her classroom activities and only speaks or acts when she absolutely must. Something she simply will not do. Instead of participating in mandatory group activities, she will sit alone and accept that she will receive a demerit. For the meeting, I, I read Mrs. Richardson's parent-teacher report, which allowed me to estimate some about Adrian, Adrian's home life. The parents are well-educated, come from a pre prestigious background, but they lack time to properly nurture Adrian. She is often alone, and when she's not, the parents seem to not understand the importance of warmth and information when dealing with someone so young. Having two parents in this, of this reserved and icy temperament exacts an inhibition in a child. A child's imagination is subdued, but only ostensibly, for it eventually finds its way into regular life. I surmise that I would be able to reach out to Adrian by way of make-believe. Anyway, that's your, that's your child psychology lesson for today, I guess. Hey, you like your new house? You told me you like to li used to live close by, but I it can still be a big adjustment. New room, new school. A basement, I like that. <laughs> the basement? <laughs> Yeah. Well, there's a lot of cool stuff. Mom and Dad sent me down there. Mom and Dad made you go? Yeah, but there's lots of cool stuff. Well, that's not why they sent me down there, though. Why did they send you down there? Fighting. They were fighting, shouting. I came in to help, help, and they shouted at me. They said, go clean up downstairs, so I went. Yeah, it sounds tough. Do they fight a lot? Well, no. <laughs> it's alright. Maybe you can uh, tell me more about the basement instead. Okay, well, it was weird as first, but the stuff down there. But cool, I found something living, sort of. It's very interesting. Tell me more. By indulging in her fantasies and stories, I was able to glean more of an understanding of Adrian's anxiety surrounding her home and parents. The symbols of Adrian's stories seem to carry their own traumatic weight, and her exploration of the basement may very well be a vehicle for the conveyance of her anxiety. Her might come out of our next meeting, whether she will engage in similar make-believe. I will set her down... We'll set down her story here. Okay, there we go. Let me write down. I heard set down a story before, but right, sure. <laughs> Adrian's story begins with her delving in the basement with a trash receptacle and the goal of cleaning it up. Discovered one of the walls to covered in plastic bags. She went and investigate. Ten on tearing away whatever they covered, all right. Trashed bag. Grab these. Yeah. Two. There we go. Upon removing the plastic trash bags from the wall, she noticed the interior lining was covered in glass. Like a window, I offered. No, she said, like a mirror. Looking on inward towards the animal they covered. She only asked her what exactly this animal was. Here is where the material reality of the story took a turn for the explicitly fantastic and imaginary. Whoa! Upon her discovery of it, her gaze it's, or, it grew or extended. Its shaggy haired self, hair like the fur of a dog, I offered. No, she said. Not the fur of a dog, nor the hair in her head. It grew out towards her, the animal's hair, reaching out. It was hard, standing almost straight, like the hair in a brush. A bristle, I offered. Yes, she said. She was very afraid at first, but then very curious. 
I would not touch that thing. <laughs> Asked her what else was in the room. More things hidden away, she said. Things love Grandpa's as well. First, she found a hidden passage under the stairs. Inside were strange dolls, magic objects, naked, faceless figures. Heard these cryptic utterances and merely nodded. In order to keep the game of make-believe going, I only pressed for details where I thought necessary. The faceless dolls could be a simple metaphor for the anonymity she feels in her own home. The hidden passage, I'm unsure what to make of that. Thing that concealed seems to be thematic in her fantasy. The door under her stairs is but one example. I'm gonna touch it. I'm touching it right now. I'm gonna poke it. Okay, I'm not allowed to poke it, but whatever. <laughs> hmm? Okay, what else can I do here? Nothing, it seems. Here we go, trash pile! Let's fucking go trash! Can't touch the trash. Okay, well, hmm. This. What is this? There we go. Once she removed the panel and found the magical hidden passage, she was very specific about what she took. Found a magic book, a magic doll, and a photo of her late grandpa, and magic glue. Alright, well, here's the... Take doll, I guess, shit. <laughs> Slouching doll, its material is rough and coarse. Search closet. Eh. Notebook. Eurasian step, shamanism in the future. Fusiform gyrus, inter interdisciplinary study in sympathetic magic. Alright, well that's a magic book, alright. Read it, fuck it. Impetus of this research was recognition of the particular pattern and fragments and of documents relating to magic and magico religious practices. Numerous sources were drawn from commentaries on laws relating to the banning of sorcery and necromancy. Compilations of folk charms relating to the love spells. Uh, hyographs? I don't know what that is. Of saints and their encounters with devils. The list spans many centuries and a great distance. The Levant to Khazar Kaganante, the border of the modern nation of Russia and Kazakhstan today. Hmm. Paper trail across the consistent account about a certain form of magic relating to the binding of demons to a sorcerer's will. A demon called the Heaven of Needles, or the Angel of Needles, was known to be kept by, best by shamanistic keepers or wards who suffer from face blindness, whether by birth or through development causes like a stroke or head injury. Is that the thing we have now, I guess? That little monster we saw earlier? It would be extremely effective but terribly dangerous, so much so that it became outlawed several times. It's generally a popular scapegoat relating to unexpected death. Hmm. It's a nexus of magical religious meaning making sorcery regarding human-related desires. That's a lot of hyphens, Jesus Christ. In the history and science and neurologic of the source, like the fusiform gyrus, it's where the subject of this dissertation will reside. I'll learn further and then analyze the historical sources mentioned previously, then I will go into neurology of mystic and magical religious experiences. And I'll detail all that shit, blah blah blah, I don't care, some of the old mounds. Anyway. Time for garbage, let's go! Blue. <laughs> blue, get. <laughs> it's magic blue, according to what she said earlier. There we go. I can move the trash cans. It's a huge feature. A note? I don't care. Give me, give me that garbage. Yay! Photo of your late grandpapa. Let's read it. First side, there's a more text. Good luck on your trip to the Earls. Stay warm. Your Earls? I don't know how you say that. Interrupted to ask what she did with these magical, mysterious materials. Grow Grandpa, she explained plainly, and then without missing a beat, she continued on to the story. Feeling this was a potent symbol, I stopped her again to ask what she meant. Somewhat puzzled, I did not understand immediately, she explained slowly. Grandpa lives in the cage in the other room, the cage beyond, behind the door. They grew people in the cage. Let's go there. Go to the Grandpa door. Yeah. Enter. Behind the door in the room, the cage was hidden, concealed in another cloak of inward-facing mirrors. Hidden cage lined with mirrors, strange, almost poetic, the elaborate fantasy of self-reflection, concealment, captivity. Oop. And that's a tart man. How do I, uh... Oh, that was tape. Okay, there we go. Finally, she cast her spell. It was confusing. She confided it at first. Took the magic doll, the magic glue, and the photo of her grandpa. She combined them, and she wished very hard. She only assumed that in this fantasy that next to her wish would come true. 
What child story would it not? All right, check it out. Check out Grandpapa. Can I can I glue? You know, Grandpa and then the doll. Glue together. Nice. Holy shit, there he is. It's Grandpa. He's back. But Grandpa in the cage and assuming that it was part of the ritual, she was not clear on how it worked. Precise instruction she could glean from her grandfather's magic book was complicated by her reading comprehension. She wished with all her heart, and then she told me she waited while, a while for something, anything to happen. After that time, she began to cry. I cried really hard, she said. I wanted Grandpa to be back. I wanted my parents to stop being so mean. And it hurt me. It hurt me wish for Grandpa to come back, for my parents to be different. I could feel it, though. The walls, and it felt me. I felt through the walls, and it felt, felt me through the air. Nice. Asked her what exactly she meant. She could only repeat what she said. By this time, lunch was almost over. I said goodbye to Adrian, and she left to rejoin her class. I was left to consider our conversation. I believe the storytelling strategy I must have employed was not unfruitful. I must probe deeper if I can. So I can be sure of nothing I interpret the impressions I get begin to help me get an idea of the right questions to ask. Knowledge you required this week is giving you access to certain topics. All right. I've gained grandpa topics. <laughs> Wish. In the following keyword. Shell. Right? Sure. I can feel his presence in the air and shit. <laughs> All right. Spooky grandpa get. Nice. I with Adrian in order to address her emotional outbursts in the past few weeks. It's our second time meeting and while... It's standard practice to have multiple sessions with a troubled student. So I assembled a report for the counseling department. I could not help but think. So we sat down in my office that Adrienne has already seemed to show a remarkable change in self-esteem and confidence. Perhaps my and Mrs. Richardson's estimation of her as emotionally disturbed was erroneous. The paralyzing shyness and withdrawn attitude Adrienne possessed last week was not entirely diminished. But she seemed to hold herself differently this week. Or this only lasted as long as our conversation pertained to initial introductory pleasantries. I began once again asking about her parents, her feelings regarding her new school and her new home. Quickly lost what new confidence she had gathered up and withdrew again into herself. Once again, I partook in some collaborative make-believe. This time, I was aided by the fact that I had managed to do some research into Adrian's grandfather. I had some insight into what she might actually be finding in the basement. Now, this may be overstepping my bounds some as a school counseling ca caseworker. This was all in the service of making Adrian comfortable and happy in this learning environment. In any case, I was able to dig up information regarding the grandpa by inquiring at the university in town. Not that I make it a, ha a habit of sleuthing, but I had a suspicion the grandpa was a professor there. At least some sort of research due to the fact that the newly constructed laboratory on campus everybody bears the same, the same name and memorial of him. Some sort of anthropologist or linguist or neuroscientist? I didn't have that dig that deep before the scope of his work became dizzying and I ran up against the limits of my undergraduate education, but back to the make-believe. What's your grandpa like? Is he a smart man? Not anymore, but I'm teaching him. <laughs> so he'd grown up a good deal then. And feeding him well then? Yeah, he's getting bigger. He has a lot of room in his cage. Is he still behind the bars? Yeah, well, he might be able to climb out eventually. There's this vent in the ceiling. Perhaps he climbs out well, I could meet him someday. Yeah, maybe. He's not ready to leave. He can't take care of himself. I, I have to feed him. Pick up after him. That, that's where you store food in your lunchbox, huh? Nice of you to share. He, he can almost talk. You can speak with Grandpa? He doesn't, he doesn't have a mouth, sort of. How do you feed him? He has a mouth on the outside, on his shell. The stuff that is his skin. A little confused. Maybe you can uh, go through your typical day with your Grandpa. Okay. Esther explained how exactly she goes around growing her grandpa. They said the name of the game. There it is. Oh my god. She began telling another tale. A week that had passed, much had changed in the basement. All right. The thing he's gone here. Oh. Everything is gone. Yeah, I already saw that. Cool. I gotta go see grandpa first. All right, whatever. Enter. Missed the note, but all right, sure. Wait, grandpa. It was scary at first, she said. The way he moved, the way the doll's skin covered him. I wanted to inter interject, but this somehow seemed inappropriate. I kept listening. When I look at him, she continued, when I think about him, he grows and moves. It's like he's growing for me. He grows bigger now, I asked. Yes, said, bigger every day. 
Oh, hey, what's up, Grandpa? Weird hairy man that's in the basement. And the actual growing part of your growing grandpa, right? Ooh, all right, so I need to do a thing. You're in charge of its cognitive development and diet until it's able to sustain itself. Apparently you're observing grandpa. Please click the arrow back button for a brief tutorial, all right? See a variety of options regarding growing your grandpa. All right, I need to do those. Gotcha, gotcha. You need to find food and learning material before you can move on to the next week. Some foods make Grandpa happy, others make merely content. Some foods will make Grandpa disgusted. From the point of nausea. Learning material is also scattered throughout the basement. Seek out vocabulary cards intended to help teach English and basic anthrop... Uh, po poetic concept information. Gotcha. The options highlighted are in red are related to navigating around Grandpa's enclosure. Go to Grandpa lets you go to Grandpa. <laughs> Alright. The study corner lets you... Go over documents you pick up as the weeks go by. It's a good idea to learn about the work of the people who last occupied the space. Let me search for food at the old fridge and prepare food for Grandpa. Help bundle do the tutorial again. Alright, there's save and there's exit. Cool, gotcha. Cool. Take care to explore the basement. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. It says down there to explore the basement too, so I'm gonna do that. Good luck! I need to find food. Yeah, give me that. Lettuce. He likes this. I don't know. I don't know he likes. Boniner. I'll enjoy that. Can I prepare this? Can I... Can I put these together? No, I guess I can make him eat things he hates. Like combining shit. Which, alright, sure. Hmm. What's up, Grandpa? Let me observe him. I think it's movements, respiration, or general mood. Gotcha. Seems sort of sluggish and bored. You get the feeling it may be more content and ready to cooperate once fed and taught a word or two. Let me uh, feed him. You know, yeah, show me the feeding tutorial. All right, injection of unprotected insula. Grandpa has stimulated the production of tooth enamel to mimic a human male. You need to be fed through this in order to properly learn and grow. All right, well. Select an item from your lunchbox. Alright, yeah, cool. You displayed. Nice food, bad food. Ah, uh, cool. It must judge the food by smell. Over above Grandpa's olfactory bulbs, Grandpa is pleased to allow you to feed it. Most foods Grandpa will accept. However, getting Grandpa to consume other things requires some culinary deception. Willing to be fed, hover your hand over its mouth and click. Grandpa then consumes the food. Good luck. All right, well, let's feed him. Hmm. All right, let's try the the, the the lettuce. Would you like this? Hmm. Doesn't like it that much. Whatever. I'm gonna feed it. Yummy. <laughs> One grandpa food. <laughs> The meal's sufficient, alright. Let me feed him the banana. Whoops. Smell it. Smell this. Alright, he also doesn't care about this either. Delish. Hmm. Yum. I'm out of here. Can I teach him a word now? Let's see about this. Two food, zero other. All right, cool. Nice. Let's let's teach him a thing. Teach. I have no. T I have nothing here. Damn. All right. Well. Do I have anything here? Is this something? Examine like educational posters. Uh, damn, that's the alphabet. What do you know? Crazy. Okay, I'm at one. Come on. Shit's dirty as hell. Sausage? Or cashews? Never mind, okay. Not quite. Okay, all clean apparently. Is this anything? Kind of an acquisition, alright, hmm. 
of the past from one family of step people to another, but pressed on its ultimate origin. Somewhere to the south, coiled in a bowl covered with incantations. Buried upside down by a graveyard. Common late antiquary demon trap. What the fuck is... Oh, hang on. Keeper and only man in failing health was ready to expound on and, and about the dangers of the organism, but when I asked more pointed questions about the history of its acquisition, I was given curt responses that a way of circling back to vague warnings. Alright, cool, thanks. Door two. I love cleaning. Ain't shit in here. Cool, there we go. Oh, there we go. I can make him say grandpa. Hmm. Let's try that. Eh, say grandpa pa. Yeah, give me the tutorial. Thank you. All right, cool. Top of the corner. The bottom right corner will be a pentagon that's divided up in eight sections. We highlighted briefly. Patient sound will play, and soon another section will be highlighted. Control small round icon that sits above the pentagon using your mouse. Okay, it's, it's constrained to the pentagon, gotcha. Keep your icon over the highlighted area, movement area changes. Alright, gotcha. So we're gonna try to make him talk with it. You hold left click above the correct highlighted area, the icon will start to vibrate. Alright, cool. Hmm. He'll pronounce the word once I have it done. Gotcha. Let me teach him grandpa. Time to say a word, Grandpa. Hello? Right mouse button. Okay, there we go. No. Why can't I do the thing sometimes? Shit, this is so fucking weird. Hold Just gotta hold it over it. Okay, there we go. Gotcha. Sometimes it like gets rid of the thing for some reason. Cool. There we go. Say it. Say grandpa. Close enough. He learned a word. Leave the lesson. You take a look back at the vocabulary module card, and the notes are written by administrators of the past. Hmm. Usual trouble with articulation, voice thin, raspy, possibly underdeveloped larynx. Done several sessions of what we were calling familiar regulation simulation. I had a co-researcher co sit in chairs opposite the enclosure. Wearing the usual mask, you had to act out a scene, mostly through improvisation that might roughly resemble a kitchen table conversation. All right. Oh, that's a lot of words. I ain't reading them. <laughs> cool. I need to teach him another word. Okay, let's try study corner again. We didn't do cabinet three. Hmm. Nah, it's fine. It's encouraged, actually. Okay, what's this? Oh, that's trash. Never mind. Hmm. Oh. There's a wooden bottom down there. There's a false bottom. What do you know? Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Research participants, please take note. Each growth from the cycle does not reduce the shell, but you may find the sample will be often... will often try and seize on something somewhat flexible and grow into. Along with any desirous yield it may generate. Or else it will move from one shell to the next as it outgrows them. The small amount of time I've spent with it in preparation, I've noticed it tends towards human forms. However, we should keep a tight lid on any anthro poetic seal in order to be cautious before we begin experiment with exposing its long term to anthropoid stimuli. Thank you. Anyway. What is this? Don't be overly severe in tone, but Dr. Hart's work is important and material we are working with is potentially very dangerous. I'll be handling I'll be handing out a copy of this note as a reminder to everyone. I'm not trying to single any particular person out. We have misconception about the nature of this project from time to time. With that out of the way, here are some things to keep in mind. 
The act of growth must be thoroughly terminated by the correct procedures at the very least. Four weeks after dormancy is interrupted. No matter what you've done or haven't done regarding the test or procedures. They kill this thing after four weeks, apparently. Hmm. Not ready to go beyond four weeks at this point. Except guide determination has been posted by the enclosure wall. Do not disrupt the anthropoidic vacuum. Dr. Hart's prior consultation and approval. Gotcha. In case of emergency, when the vacuum is disrupted, put on your equipment and begin a lockdown procedure. Take a note on how to breach occurred, all right? Find the habitat empty page Dr. Hart immediately, but do not attempt to speak with anyone else. This thing can get very smart, and I'm sure you're all well aware of from stories we heard on our acquisition trip. The greatest caution should be used when dealing with a potential aggressive mimicry scenario. It's gonna try to mimic you, shit. <laughs> In the following conversation, biohazard bin. Alright. Medical imaging device. I guess I got nothing here, right? Yeah, nothing for this. Hmm. That's all we have for now. Time to explore the basement. Hmm. What is that? Blueberries. You might like that, actually. They're definitely not running. It'll be fine. They have a top drawer. The one slot seems worthless, by the way. Two and three, those are the good slots. That's where the good trash goes. A note. Where we begin, he had us all cover our faces completely. An earthenware pot was illegible. On the inside, as we stole brief glasses, we could, uh, glances we could see the interior was inlaid with mirrors. The, whatever the hell, gave it small pieces of dough. Spoiled food, chicken feed, and something. Keeping it content. Ought to be silly, but no, it is, like, very serious. <laughs> Zev took this very seriously. Like, there's, like, a bunch of research going on to this fucking thing. The child's like, ah, I'm gonna feed it peanuts, and then, like, it's gonna escape out of its cage later and kill us or kill somebody, I don't fucking know. <laughs> the keeper gestured towards a small bag where the food compo composted and told us to be careful not to feed it any meat. As if rotting food was enough to sustain it, how it might get nutrients from any of this. The keeper regarded me seriously and uh, said it did not matter what it was fed. The act of feeding itself was what mattered. The act of feeding flesh is another act, however. And gave me my another series of grave warnings regarding not keeping any animal derived foods near where I might be keeping it. Alright, don't feed it meat, gotcha, unless we're desperate. I don't have keys. Hold on, alright. No meat unless you want to see some fucked up shit. The waste here smells particularly strong. That's so good for me. Hang on, what's this? Human effigy. Hmm. Anything else? Actually, there's... Okay, I can grab these. Hard to tell what is trash and what isn't trash here in the trash pile. Yay, we're clean. Nothing here? Uh, we, do, we do that already. Okay, there's nothing there. Bulbous growth. It's growing from the wall. Pulsating sack, the slimy memory in the, is its skin seems to contain something. Have you opened with a blade? I don't have a blade though, I don't think. This is a blade literally here right now. Doesn't look like it. I don't know what that is, but... Ain't no edged weapon, I don't think. A note! What are you? Fucked up battery. Really isn't food. Grandpa might eat it though? Alright. Sure. Here's the card for hello. Hello. Very good. Oh shit, this one's too spooky. Need a light for that. Alright, well, let's get in there. What are these cards? Let's read it. Repeatedly called your homes to no avail, and so I am forced to leave this here for you all. I found William sitting in the corner of the enclosure area, seemingly severely concussed. Whiskers was gone. 
None of its usual hiding places. I immediately suspected the worst. The project thus must be suspended for now. Living up to the usual mirrored coverings we use to keep the anthrop anth anthropoidic void sealed. Done my best to lock up everything on such short notice. Hasty fix, but it will require some time to find more permanent remedy. When you don't find this note, as I intend to lock the house down too. Tend the race off to you to retrieve your lockbox keys. Don't worry about William's key. And the rest of the his equipment is almost certainly deep within whiskers now. Pray do not enter his room. No matter how it may appear, William cannot be helped. Only being kept alive is a means of continuing predation on the rest of us. Say once again, no matter what state you may encounter William in, I cannot it cannot he cannot be helped. I have sympathy for the young man, I truly do, but I found on his person several photos of his late sister, which would imply a certain risk he knew was he was taking. Our extant research materials have now become possible liabilities, either criminal or professional in nature, so I have slashed them away. Stashed them away, I can't, that's a, it looks like an L, whatever. <laughs> Believe you all know how I might do this. If you're ever to experience an event such as this, I hope you all remember that what I told you. So long, Doctor Who. <laughs> Read the rest of those later. That just happens when you have a weird grandpa, man. Let's teach him how to say hello. Hmm. You can do it. I believe in you. Yeah, I think I'm penalized for not having it be in the square. Do it. Say it. Sound like Kawawa. But alright, sure, close enough. Alright. Sloppy articulation, yeah. Already encouraging some encountering some difficulties with whiskers subjectively. Her subjectivity is so much determined by a diverse and dynamic array of influences. It attempts to mimic the thoughts and desires it passively intercepts. These imitations go on to structure the basis of its identity. Only later in Whiskers' growth cycle does it begin to form an identity or identities that are coherent and capable of resembling a sane, rational human when engaged in conversation. One must imagine how hard it would be to converse with someone who is not yet oriented in one particular way towards who or how they are because they might have 20 different honest answers to those questions, all the mixed and meta together. Because this, we've started with the basic conversation greetings, partings, identifying one another, forming questions, etc. It is fortunate Whiskers' current growth, number 19, I believe, has developed a most accurate human mouth simulation. Hello was a bit of a challenge in the previous growth as it had failed to develop an adequate organ to act as a human tongue. All right, cool, we did it. Grandpa, success. Now what? So we can end week. Stay the game first, too. Actually, it's a good time to take a break, too. We've taught him how to say two-word. Very nice. So, taught him to say hello, Grandpa. He can say hi to himself. Anyway. End week. Weekly summary. Food acquired. Battery <laughs> for that's of food. <laughs> Yummy. Documents acquired. A shitload. Knowledge acquired this week is giving you access to a new conversation topic. Language. It, I was like, uh, shouldn't it like fade out or something? Like usually everyone does fade outs. It's like what you do, you just have it fade out and like, if like, maybe like a tail end of like two or three seconds of silence too there, but like, all right, sure. <laughs> just hard cut. <laughs> I gotta try to find a better video or something, I don't know. Mrs. Richards approached me the other day in order to remark on Adrienne's development. She noted how much more at ease she appeared when called upon in class, but when asked to participate in group art exercises, I told her I had seen this change happen as well. And as much as I would like to take credit for it, I can only guess dimly at what might be reshaping her attitude. Mrs. Richards posited that it was perhaps Adrian's family moving into their grandfather's property that caused the change. Apparently, he's out of the. It's apparently out of the country in a wooded area, out in the country in an area in a wide open space, far from the bustle and noise of the city. Okay, th this like wiggling text is making me fucking read bad. I think <laughs> I think that's what it is because this is kind of I don't know. It's wiggly. I, I can't stop noticing it. <laughs> the grandpa, Dr. Jacob Hart, had jointly purchased the land with the university he was employed with and began constructing what he, he was intending to be a satellite campus for a burgeoning psychological anthropology program he had in hand in establishing. 
Only one building ever ended up being constructed after Dr. Hart died in a car accident when driving back from the property one day. Eerily, at almost the exact same time, a grad student who was arrest assisting Dr. Hart in some sort of project is at the property vanished without a trace. That the guy that, was that Michael or whatever we were talking about? The guy that was like, yeah, he's down there, don't worry about it, I locked him in. <laughs> property sat in disuse for years that was tied into legal battles between Dr. Hart's next of kin, the university, and the vanished grad student's family. And the other students Dr. Hart was working with. Eventually, the case was settled out of court. Only recently did the property fall into the possession of Adrian's mother. Obviously, he was not going to relay this whole tragic story to Adrian, who, for all I know, believes that Grandpa is still be living in the basement of his home. Besides, I thought she might already know all this. Please, perhaps the elaborate story she was constructing was her own way of escaping the morbid details of her of life, or perhaps lives, cut short by the cruel forces of fate and the cynical adults who squabbled in the aftermath. Determined perhaps the storytelling she was and continues to engage in should not be encountered, encouraged by me, at least not in the way I went around it before, I made, where I made active inquiries in a strange fantasy of a semi-sentient ball of skin. Bro, it's a ball of fucked up hair in a, in a burlap sack. It's different, man, I swear. When I saw Adrian, I did not bring up her grandpa or ask questions about his growth. Adrian could not stop talking about it, however. I had no choice but to weather her bizarre and enthusiastic effusions about her new best friend. Adrian, maybe we can talk about something else. I'm not sure exactly I'm following you exactly. He's gotten so big, he has so many whiskers that come out, and I can see them move around, and I think about him. I'm not sure what you mean. I'm so happy Grandpa's back. He's so much cooler than Mom and Dad. Once again, for what it's worth, I put down the story she told me as best as I could. And Jane once again told me about growing her grandpa. <laughs> they dropped the name again, holy shit! Same thing, right? Yeah, yeah, this is the same note from before. I need a, a blade to cut the bulbous growth. Yeah, trash. I thought that was an ear for a second. Like, oh shit, human ear, let's go. Feed grandpa the human ear? Yes, no? I just kind of fucked myself there. I was like, oh, too slow. Too slow, gamer. It's like, alright, there we go. Normal child things. Yeah, it's just a kiwi. I don't know where this food came from. Oh, yeah, it's darker there. I can't. It's scary. Hold up. Anything new in the cabinet? Yes, actually. Someone's coming in here and adding more trash to the pile. What the frick? so rude and bad. Damn. I've been diddled again. I really don't like this, this part of the gameplay. You're just like putting things in the trash can 50, 50 billion fucking times. Yeah, great. Especially when you don't even know if you're going to find something cool or it's going to be like this where... Yep. <laughs> you cleaned it for nothing. Congrats. Second bulbous growth. Yo, let's go bulbous growth. Fans out there, you're enjoying bulbous growth today. <laughs> Two growths. I just need to have a, uh, whatchamacallit. I need to find a blade of some kind, not this random paper. There we go, cool. What are you? Indecision, nice. I don't know why we're going to teach him that word of all things, but sure. Hmm. The garbage here smells very garbagey. Nice. Oh wait, we already cleaned that. Okay, cool. Get on in. Oh, we need to teach him three. Or, no, no, okay, no, just three food, two word. Uh, let me observe him. Hmm. Grandpa's gums are bleeding slightly, and his skin seems overly dry. I guess a kiwi would be a good thing. All right, there we go. Let's get, teach him. Let's give him a kiwi. Feed Grandpa. You need to eat a kiwi. Eat it. Yeah. All right, how about this? We'll eat the battery? Let's try this. You like battery? I guess? Is that not good enough? I guess I'll put it back. 
about blueberries. He finds his palatable. Okay, there we go. Cool. I'm gonna see if I can feed him the battery anyway. Let's let's go back here. Hmm. Hooray! Go to the kitchen corner. Let me do that. Prepare food. Let me put a battery in there. I don't have any veggies. What would I have? What I have? Oh, cashews. That wouldn't do it. Hmm. Yo, let's go pair. <laughs> Grandpa needs batteries. There's strawberry too. There we go. One straw for Grandpa. Oh, just need the pear there. Right? Put the battery in the pear. He'll eat that. Conceal. <laughs> Grandpa, eat this uh, delicious battery pear. Concealed battery. Hmm. It's able to detect the unappealing. I'm making me that. There we go. Nice. Come on, Grandpa, eat your batteries. Oh, it caused indigestion, damn. Ah, fuck. Well, can I feed him something else, or is that good? Hmm. One other, okay, so we need to... Okay, one more, okay, cool. I can't feed him the battery, turns out. Whoops, that was my bad. Let me try that again. We can examine the stomach contents too in a sec, I guess. Oh boy, Grandpa Puke, you can have a cashew. Sniff that. Go eat it. More like Graham Puke. Okay, we're down here. Hooray! Yeah, what, what, did, what did Puke up here? A key? Holy shit! Nice wet key. Good stuff. We can try to teach him indecision, I guess. These words are so fucking long. Eh. Eh. This minigame's kind of like Tiger and Phoenix type bullshit. It's not as bad as that, but like... It's not- it's like... Not any more fun than that either. <laughs> There we go. It's not a great minigame, this one, but whatever. The, the food minigame is kind of... He said it kind of good, actually. I talked over a little bit. He, he said it kind of good. What the hell? Articulation problems, possible trouble, uh, diphthongs. Introducing the latest growth of whiskers to more subtle social cues and testing its ability to judge mental states of participants in conversation. The semantic content that flows to Whiskers via its psi field, what the fuck, is still becoming muddled and slipped without distinction in a conversation, although our intention of instilling in it a solid theory of mind will perhaps make it begin to understand that we do not know what it knows or know what we are without control sending to it. One would think a theory of mind seems to develop as part of its maturation process. In order to hunt sapient beings, it must be able to deceive them. In order to deceive it, it must be able to make certain metacognitive judgments. For example, if their deception appears to be working on how not to be deceived. May never see developed theory of mind anytime soon as Dr. Hart has disallowed a cycle of whiskers growth to live into the beginning of maturity. Alright, cool, anyway. Let's go open the gate, or the gate, the door. Cabinet. Ooh. Heh heh heh, what'd I get? Picture. Hmm. Grandpa's wallet? I don't care about that, apparently. I don't care about this other shit, I guess. Well, just the picture. I don't think I got any more words to teach him, right? I think that was it. I, I guess we can search the, the thing in here. Mm, I think we can go to the study corner about that, yeah? Nothing new here, right? Bio cabinet one, yo, let's go. We're gonna be another document after not doing shit here for a week. Great! There's nothing here, though. Eh. I love this. This is good for my wrist. Okay, cool. Nothing in here. Alright, well... This... Oh, can I do anything with this? No, not yet. Okay, well... Hmm. Not sure I can teach him anything. 
Uh, no, I don't care about these. These are anything either. Unless I could tear them off the wall. Oh, I can. What is this? Disposal internment. Hmm. Researcher will seal off the enclosure bars, ensuring minimal gas leakage during the later fumigating process, and retrieve the burn barrel and place it near the enclosure. At least 48 hours of time where the current growth cycle experienced no human-related stimuli. Do not enter the enclosure area nor any part of the basement. Ideally, you will not be on the grounds at all. After two days, two researchers will enter the basement wearing their assigned mirror mask, mirror apron, and powered air purifying respirator. Researcher will use the vent system to fumigate the enclosure area. Wait 30 whole ass minutes and then use the fan system to ventilate the enclosure. Keeping the fans running during steps three and four, all right? Get on in there and then uh, the organism may or may not be in complete dormancy. It's not in full dormancy. Be assured that its capacity to act against you will be greatly diminished. Your assigned power drills quickly remove any enclosure bars needed to access the organism. Put them aside for later reinstallation. Put them back in the burn barrel. Incinerate the organism thoroughly. Wait for any smoke to be properly cleared by the fan system. Turn off the fans. One researcher will retrieve the nucleus from the ash and place it in the mirror box. The researcher will sift through the ash and place any other substance, substantial remains in the biohazard bin. Okay, the code is for a safe. 323245. Do I need this for something? Hmm. Okay. I don't think I need that. Hmm. Where's that bin then? Already checked all these too. So where can I go? I need to teach Grandpa another word. Let's explore the basement. Let's get this key go to because I already used the key in the one place. Yeah, right. Hmm. I don't think the key goes anywhere else, right? Hmm. Needs a, specifically a blade, which I'm right, sure. Cool. Is there nothing else in this drawer? So I got the key, but that's all it did, right? Hmm. Oh, there's this trash pile here. I didn't think I searched this one. Yeah, no. Search painting. I missed this trash pile. Where are you? Folder of radiographic images. Interesting. There we go, vocab card. And wherever the hell that is. Fiberglass insulation. Grandpa might eat that. Potato. He'll totally eat that shit. Life. The new word to teach him. And there we go. Oh, I, I ignore that trash pile. I guess there's three trash piles to look at. Go to Grandpa. Teach. Should be a short one at least. You're doing it. You're speaking word. Ugh. There we go. Come on. Oof. Close. Hmm. At week three of growth, number 24 whiskers appeared to recall some information from a previous growth cycle. We cannot be sure that this was really the case. For all we know, know what we interpreted as it, recollecting this information is really it drawing semantic content from one of our recollections of it and redeploying it without rationality or contextualization. Mm -hmm. the sake of our safety and for the sake of scientific inquiry, we are attempting to draw out from whiskers whether it somehow retains knowledge from previous cycles and its morphalic nucleus. Nothing was possible to nucleus. Uh, through complex and incredible and in his regenerative abilities, was capable of this and that the nerve network that grew from it made up the base of Whiskers' mind. So we are now attempting to ask Whiskers as best as we can if it has ever died, and what it might remember if it did. Interesting. <laughs> can, can we try to talk to Grandpa now? Hmm. He accedes your request. It approaches its bare bars and it untwirl its skin. Inner grandpa, though still not fully formed, is revealed. Maybe fruitful to speak with it if it can respond. Oh, hello. Ask about wish. 
He still struggles to somewhat speak due to its underdeveloped tongue and mouth and jaw. However, it manages to rasp out an answer. Hunger is not enough. On the walls of the cave, the Orok can be hunger transformed. Desires are filled by pain. Grandpa doesn't have the right words right now. You can only say I love you. <laughs> love is not enough, though. Desire is not enough. Project it outwards. Make it true to yourself. Only in the symbol. Then it will be enough. Me and true you. All right. Thank you, Grandpa. What we got? With the shell? Hmm. Something to grow in. My skin is not the doll's skin. My skin is not like your skin either. I can still feel your eyes on me inside my shell. Many eyes to see, but don't need them as much as I need your eyes, which I can understand. And seeing me? What? Cycle of attention. You give me myself, but I am still not that. Slowly I form a human shape. You see me more as human, and I become that. Alright, well. Fighters and Ben, what else we got? Goodbye? Okay, it's just those two, okay. They keep putting me in a box, sleeping, in, and then set a light. And then in a box, in a box in the corner in the dark. Okay, so he does remember all these? Okay, shit. Most of you couldn't read, then. The scribe came and wrote what everyone said. They wrote on strips of bark with reeds. No, it was not that. It was a paper posted somewhere. I had words to open the box. I was half dead in the box. The part of me that dies is put there for a long time. That part of me and other things they threw in. A refuse pile. Papers they discarded. Grandpa is old. My lives were easier before I made myself to speak and before you made clothes to wear and rules to obey. Your grandpa remembers. I've learned much in many lives and deaths. Keep speaking with me. I love talking with you, and I learn from learning from you. And it helps your grandpa so much. So it'll be everything you would like me to be. All right, cool. Bye, grandpa. <laughs> All right, let's uh get out of here. Save real quick. Then why not? End week. Fed him a frickin' battery. Oh no, that's, that's the stuff we found, okay. Much less documents. They never gone beyond week four is what they said earlier. This unprecedented shit. The time I have to spend compiling an evaluation of H. Rand is almost up. I still can't say what to make of her changes in mood. It is of course the case that children of Adrian's age are nowhere near finished learning and growing. We have to simply be happy that Adrian is able to improve her attitude. However, something in, in the odd and occasionally grotesque story she continues to bring up to me still strike me as meaningful. How's your week been, Adrian? Grandpa's almost ready. He's almost finished, sort of. Ah. Uh, almost as big as his shell now. He has a face. He can talk pretty well. And almost has legs. I see. Before I put down the story she told me as best as I could. Tell me about your fucked up grandpa's leg. Hang on. So I'm gonna cut the bulbous gross, that's later. I need, I need a blade for that. He needs to give me like a scissor or a knife or something. Soap! Look, my grandpa says a naughty word. Yeah, yummy. <laughs> it's not food, he'll probably eat it, lol. There's a bulbous growth here too? Oh my god, so many bulbous growths. Nothing here, okay, cool. That's already done. How dare you not put anything here? Oh my god, well, cabinet time. Ugh, all this clicking. I hate it. Okay, there's something, thank you. Eh, okay, here we go. What? Meaning. Don't forget the trash, but- Oh, there's, there was radio radiographic images. I forgot about that. I forgot to look at those last time. That'll be fine. Do it this time. Okay, friggin' x-rays. What's this? Flatbread? Hell yeah, Grandpa loves flatbread. It's his favorite type of bread.
Hmm. Final trash pile. I think we did the first one, right? I don't remember. I'm assuming I got that other one. If not, we'll go back and get it later. What's this? Symbol. Ooh, what's this? Mushroom. Mushroom. For some reason, Toadette's taunt one of the Mario parties. She just says mushroom for some reason. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense to me, but all right. <laughs> and feed him three food. Let's also go to the study corner. I want to do the radiographing images. There we go. Boom. Yep, that's a growth, all right. The fuck? Hmm. Entered a chamber adjacent to whiskers that had been freed from the anthropoidic vacuum. Anyway. Between the two, there were uh, semi opaque glass panels that allowed observation both ways. The participant was asked to think of someone in the popular consciousness, a fictional or no. And cogitate in, in their image, personality, face if possible, voice if possible, etc. The participant chose Jesus of Nazareth and with weekly repeated exposures to the participant images, propagation number 20 began forming what resembled an anthropoid Nazarene in the fold of its spines. Previous human-oriented tests were always borne out as a result that Whiskers would form an anthropoid team member. Be it me or Dr. Hart or Gerald, we assumed it was merely mimicking one of us. Dr. Hart always uh, contended the desirous yield or the anthropoid reproduction. Whiskers creates one in contact with human beings. Has always been based on the conception and relation of the person through someone else. With this framework, the, the desirous yield is not actually a replica of a person, or if it is, it's only a replica of the fiction of a person generated from the mind of another. It reads your mind and makes a, tries to become the thing from that. Interesting. Desirous yield was not Jesus Christ, but the participants' image of Jesus, assembled from their religious upbringing, uh, religious artwork, depictions of the popular culture, etc. This radiograph was taken right before the destruction of the growth cycle, while Whiskers was rendered unconscious via fumigation. Seems like every success of propagation, the stem cells in the organism work a little faster, but I'm not paranoid. It's technically deathless, yet we're burning up whatever knowledge it gained when it was we incinerated. Don't believe in magic just yet. Cool, anyway, I'm out of here. Great. I think I have enough food, right? I guess we can search the kitchen. Hell yeah! Jackfruit! I don't know what the hell that is. Apple. Okay, can I... Can I put some fucked up things in there? Yeah, give me... Let's, get, let's have it eat the soap! Let's put it in the potato. There we go. Nice. Conceal that. <laughs> Take some fiberglass, throw it in an apple. Nice. Oh yeah. You got any normal food in here too? Plenty. Feed him the soap. <laughs> He's huge now, anyway. Yeah, I never had it. Hmm. It's not exactly meat. Let's feed you a normal fruit here. Yummy. Okay, well, then you can, uh... Have some fiberglass insulation. Yummy, right? It will accept the feeding, nice. He had a big puke, nasty. Alright, let's, let's not use the other one yet, let's keep that for now. Let's have a nice straub. Hmm. Yummy. Is that all you need to feed him? Is it just two? Or is it, I think it's three. I'm gonna feed him three food. Let's get the flapper anyway. Yum. Yummy flatbread. Right here, cool. Hooray! Alright, check out his puke. Snizzard, there we go, found it. Nice. I can kill the Bulba's growths now. Let's teach him, though, how to say meaning. That's how you learn to talk to you, just vibrate your vocal cords like this. Make them slap each other.
We did it. Close. <laughs> Still an abstraction of the whiskers, partially or perhaps for the most part, for the purpose of determining the origin of his recollection that preceded its death. Dr. Hart began to theorize that in the process of death, the structures of whiskers is compressed back into the morphelitic nucleus, that, and then later, upon reestablishing the nerve netting that it, at least through its spines, it slowly reassembles and redeployed as needed. I don't think this is the case. For I can plainly see that for growth cycles in which whiskers is not receiving our, our, our pronunciation and vocabulary lessons, its capacity generally for comprehending its environment is greatly diminished. In the simulated conversations we carry out, whiskers struggles to great, greatly or else does not participate. In any case, we will press on with our lessons and heed Dr. Hart's cautions regarding terminating the growth cycle before whiskers allotted growth time passes. If it appears to be becoming a little too competent at appeal appearing human. All right, cool. Teach him one more thing. Learn symbol. Why is this thing vibrating so much? Jesus. There we go. I did it. Cool. That was pretty good, actually. Good pronunciation. Congrats. Hmm. There's nothing written here. It was erased, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's, uh... I'm gonna cut some bulbs. You've had it too good for too long, bulbous growth. Hmm. A lot of rotting things in there, huh? In the near silent slither of something, or maybe something in your imagination. Yeah, give me the goop. Fuck is that thing? Anthropoid remnant one. Self-sufficient animal form knit together from years of ambient thoughts left to crawl around the basement. Grandpa might eat this though. Okay, I'm not gonna feed him. It said don't feed grandpa meat. I don't really feel like it either. Little friends? Oh boy, I can talk about the little friends, I guess. Sorry, where's the other bulbous growth around here? I think there's one. Bulbous growth, there we go. Hmm. We want Grandpa getting a taste for flesh, and I do agree with that. Ew, another one. Kill it. <laughs> Anthropoid remnant too. Nasty. Hooray! Was there a third bulbous grow? I think there was, but I don't know. Was there not a bulb? There? No, it was up back here. It was the cabinet, I think. Yeah, get fucking stabbed. There it is, nasty little critter. Yay! That was like a pixel on the top of the screen. That's so rude. <laughs> okay. Let's look, let's talk to Grandpapa real quick. Attempt to communicate. No response. Damn, he doesn't want to speak right now. That sucks. Well, let's save game and end week. He ain't speaking. Hmm. I'm three anthropoids. I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm gonna feed him that or not. That seems kind of weird. Week five, uncharted territory. Who could that be? Come in, Adrian. Good to see you. Aren't a little? Aren't you a little early? No matter. I suppose I have some time now. Hey Ben, how's your grandpa doing? That's why I wanted to talk to you. S something happened. Oh, what happened? Nothing bad, I hope. 
No, nothing bad, just different. I think maybe even good. Well, I'll tell you about it. Last night something woke me up. There was no noise there was a noise at first. Like it came from the walls. Could hear it from my bedroom. There was something else. <laughs> Someone called calling. I could hear it just barely. I was afraid somehow grandpa hurt himself. Had to go find out. Grandpa, you okay down here? Hmm. Or I told you about the vent in the ceiling behind the bars. Thinking he climbed up into it. He had gone so big he could have done it that he had gone trapped somewhere in the vent. Had to go see. All right, we'll go into the vent then. I should have made it eat the other thing too, I guess. Oh well. He had peeked probably a flash. I probably seen the rest of the basement. Got inside, heard the ceiling again, the calling again. We're clear this time. Grandpa was definitely in the vent somewhere. I could feel him hearing my thoughts. Got that weird feeling sense in the air. Had to go forward. Let's go find Grandpa in the vent. Oh, it's nice and clean back here. That had stuff in it. Kind of slimy, hairy stuff Grandpa would leave around a lot. It was definitely close. There's a Grandpa trail right here. Oh, hello, hello, Grandpa. It wasn't Grandpa. He had made it through. Grab it, touch it. it looks nice. Slumped in the corner. Had a weird mouth and... Oh, is this the thing from Eraserhead? It's fine, it grew up though. Had lungs on the outside. Drew in just enough air to call out. And it stopped. Stopped breathing. It was hanging over me. What? Then I woke up in my bed. <laughs> Your bed, Adrian? Sounds like it was just a quite a bad dream. You're right, by the way. Your face is twitching like you're about to have a violent sneeze. I'm fine. It's just Grandpa, you see. It took me a little bit to figure it out, but... Later when I was brushing my teeth, I saw one of Grandpa's whiskers poking out in the space under my eye. So I remember how in the vent, he hid inside of me. It was so fast I could barely remember. As I started to feel him sliding around in my head. By my forehead and behind my eyes. And nose, it doesn't hurt at all. Just It's just ticklish. Glad I can be with him, or I can feel him now. I think he wants to meet you. Part of his moving down my arm, oh. Don't get worried, Adrian. You really should not be twitching like this. You should walk into the nurse's office. Come on, let's go. It's really mean him. I told you so much about him. <laughs> what are you doing, Adrian? You're starting to look very ill. Please, just wait. This will be cool. Stay still. He's gathering. Let's check out my sick grandpa. Check my sick grandpa tech here. Blame him. <laughs> What do you look? Why do you look like that? You don't have to be afraid. He's just a grandpa, man. Look. Oh! <laughs> it's just grandpa coming out there. It's fine. It's normal. This happens. Uh, I'm low. I'm, I'm still waiting. I got the other ending. Damn it. I guess I needed, like, I needed to feed him the other thing and make him throw up. I fucked up. Oh well, damn. I guess I need to make him throw up a second time, which I, I don't really want to go back and do that. This is fine, I got enough out of it, honestly. We made a fucked up grandpa and it, uh... It did the thing. It, it, uh, it, it... Went inside the, the granddaughter for some reason and, like, I don't know, parasited her real hard or some shit. It was weird. <laughs> What the hell was that? What was that Patreon name in the course? Like, loose change in its consequences or something? <laughs> I love how Patreon names must be, like, random normal names and randomly some, like, weird shit like that. Like, <laughs> I will not abide by garbage on the side of the road or some shit. I'd be like, oh, gr great name, good good username, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, skip credits, hold down right mouse, right mouse button. There we go, cool. That was that. <laughs> I guess there's another ending, too, if I really want to go for it, but I'm kind of good here. Coffin Mall. Well, blam. There we go. What's extra? Wait, what's the bonus mode? We get to play as the car. Dude, sick. I'm not sure what we're trying to kill, though. What we're trying to do here. Oh, we're trying to kill the other guy. That's fine. Let's go back to main menu, yeah. Or no, I didn't do reset save, and it's fine, where
Nice parking. Anyway. Can I not run in this mode? That sucks. No, it's a normal mall. It's just like you die here. <laughs> Locked. I'm gonna bust in here or some shit. Maybe, okay, maybe I need to actually reset my state. Let's do that, just in case. But that, okay, never mind. It didn't make a difference. Alright, sick. Okay, babe, where am I supposed to go? Because, like, front door is locked. I guess I go around the side. I'm gonna take the car, because, like, why walk when I can do this sick driving? Whatever. The insurance will cover it. Boss office locked. I need to use that. Huh? Huh? Where am I going, though? I think my post on the other side. Oh my god. I don't get the run yet. My guy's just not in a hurry. He doesn't want to go anywhere in a jiffy. He wants to walk as slow as possible. <laughs> I think we're like a security guard. It's our first day or some shit. This and Dead Rising. I don't see shopping carts at malls ever. Maybe some individual stores have some, but, like, you never see them, like, outside the stores. Oh, shit, was this Floppa? Yeah, holy crap, Floppa's here. Far better than a do guard dog. Guard car cow or whatever they are. <laughs> here we go. Hello? Hey, kid. First day on the job, huh? Better have the stones for security work. The guys before you quit are big babies. Hopefully you're less scared of the dark than they were. Anyways, you're expected to go around the mall hitting switches around your patrol, so I know you're not slacking. You should be thankful you get paid for circling an empty mall. Oh, and one Thank more you thing. to the developer. Make sure you keep the property intact. You want to get paid, right? Well, anything you decide to destroy is coming right out of your check, kid. Oh no. What is this anyway? Oh. Tomato soup, huh? Keep out the entrance and corners of the malls. So I gotta go hit buns around the around the mall to make sure I'm actually doing my job or something, which is pretty lame, but alright. There it is, it's nice and bright. There's no sprint. I guess I can't sprint until the coffin mall comes here or whatever the hell happens. Was it this hearse that attacks me? I don't even know. Flop, what are you doing here? I love him already. Final ride. Promotional hearse. Alright, sure. Pretty much just beginning sucked ass. You can just walk all over the place, do nothing. Uh. Here we go. Some of the entrance too, which I guess might be here or no. That's the side door. We don't care about that. I mean, they got cameras. They can see me walking around too. Like, what the fuck do they care? Beep beep. You just send the malls a hearse right in for their movie theater. <laughs> Whoa, the car from the movie. Wow, crazy. Beep, beep. This mall is a map despite this mall being like one story giant square. That's it. <laughs> like the design, the level design of this game is not very good, but whatever. It works, I guess. We're going to the Square View Mall. 
It's weird, like, island stores are strange, too, but no. Well. Having an actual store would be, like, your actual, like, mall would be too big, too. Or than, like, a big open space. Oh, fuck, what was that? That took out the power. Gotta make sure the cat's fine. The cat's not fine! I forgot even dodging this. The dodge is sick. Oh my, I forgot about this. This gets sick as hell. Wait, no, I'm, I get tired. Never mind. What the hell? Where's the cat? Oh shit. Oh god. Right, you do actually have to do a dodge, which is like, kind of fucking awesome. But you get tired after a while. You can't just like, spam it. Gotta find a way out of here fast. Where's the ladder? I don't remember. Oh, I'm fucking tired. Hold up. Oh my god, car, stop. I think I'm safe here, right? Where am I going? I think I'm going back the way I came. No, I'm going that way. I'm going to the front. Olay! Holy fuck. <laughs> Oh, it's, oh, I'm tired, apparently. Shit. Oh. Nope. God, he got me. This is where it gets hard, is... Oh, shit. <laughs> Try not to get murdered. Because I can't do the dodge as much, either. I get... I get winded. I'm trying to fight a car as it's happening. Holy shit. I'm trying to fight my stamina meter with anything. My stamina meter is not doing great right now. An invisible stamina meter that, like, oh god. There we go, shit. He can't fit in here, luckily. It's nice. Alright, cool. You get away from here, bad car. Bad car, you go away. I gotta try to bullfight this thing, which sucks. Oh, I didn't dodge at all. I, can I not dodge the ladder? Is there the more dodges on the ladder? I have like a straight dodge in this, which is sick. I guess I can't do I need to see if I can't dodge the ladder or not. If I can't, that sucks. I need to put it down or something, or I gotta figure out how to walk around that shit. Okay, cool. Get out of here. Hmm. Right, it's stuck, it's done. Let me just get out of here. Let me test. Can I not dodge? I, I can dodge the ladder. I just need to be able to, like... I can't dodge with the ladder being carried. I need to drop it. Okay, cool. There is some tech with the ladder. Gotcha. Fuck! Oh, okay. I'm alive. Whatever. I can drop the ladder in its face, though, which is kind of funny. Okay, come on. Bam. Crash into some shit, you dick! There you go. Thank you. I'm out of here. I can't move, I'm too tired. I can't sprint the ladder either, I think. I'm not sure. I mean, there might not be ladder sprinting shit! <laughs> I think it was too tired, goddamn. I need some rest time. My guy's exhausted out here, he's doing a bunch of jumps and runs. The guy's getting gassed too quick, shit. Hitting this hearse with the ladder should, like, disable it. Through the windshield. Like, that's gonna kill the driver, right? Fuck, I... Okay, there we go, I made it. Oof, alright, let me let me wait here, I gotta... Driver? Yeah, I know. You don't need to go to the women's restroom now, you need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> be, the car can't get you to the toilet, just go to any toilet, who gives a shit? Fuck, I, I dodged... I, I deer in the headlights, I dodged the wrong way? <laughs> Very cool. I remember, okay, I remember what the thing I didn't like about this game is, God, it takes... You have not enough stamina at all. This is the classic move. Stamina games never give me enough stamina to, like, actually, like, make it fun. It's like, this is so little that I'm getting my ass kicked. I should do it. Do I... Do I have strafe running in this? I think I do. I was, I was just moving there. Did you see that shit? I guess I got strafe running. Goddamn. Crash into this thing, you piece of shit. There we go. Alright, I need to get towards the front, which is over here. Pretty good.
good? Yeah, it's crashing. This thing sucks. Cool. I'm out of here. I can even do this. I need to, like, drop the ladder. Oh, fuck. Uh, drop it, and then dodge. There we go. Did I make this? No. Dodge again! Okay, shit. Did I make this? Please? Place ladder? Go! Place There we go. Thank you. I made it. Okay, so... <laughs> need to get to my car. Where's that? Oh, God. Fuck. They almost got me. <laughs> okay, where's the car at? Where, where we park? Hers is taking damage? Yo, sick. That's where I left it. I'm not sure the game counts as that. I think I'm just trying to get the car damaged. You know, I can check, but, like, I doubt it's still there, you know? It's still there. Holy shit. Oh, wait. All right. Well, whatever. I'm gonna go get it. Car combat. Get fucked. Car combat. We're stuck in each other? Oh god, don't tell me. Bro, move. I can't- I can't move! You got me stuck here! I don't know what to do here! I think I win? I don't know. Okay, we got- we got out of this a little bit. Oh my god, please. Somebody get loose here! Fucking shitballs. Well, I can't even get out of the, I can't get out of the car. Oh, there we go, I can. Back in the car. This car's fucking stupid. Oh no, okay, I'm free, I'm free. There we go. Do a tight turn, I'm out of here. We got it stuck, get fucked, dipshit! Booyah. Or we're not doing enough damage from this. He doesn't, know to, he doesn't know to do like a 37 point turn to get out of this thing. He sucks ass. Am I killing it? It's fucking stuck in here. We Carlitoed his ass. There we go. I got enough room now for sure. I'm blowing this motherfucker up. I should technically hit him with reverse hits, but like that's fine. I'm gonna hit him in the front. Doesn't matter. Like, technically, Demolition Derby, you, you want to turn around. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Fuck it. He's stuck in there. It doesn't even fucking matter. There's no rear view mirror, but I'm gonna hit him like this. I did it. I killed the car. Let's go. Get fucking Demo Derby, bitch. <laughs> Yeehaw. I'm out of here. Okay, I'm not out of here. What do I do? I just go talk to the car. What, what do I do about this? <laughs> okay, we, we have this. We can, like, side dodge, like, diagonals. Wreck. Phew. Incident at the Square Galleria puzzles the public. Security tapes of the night cannot be recovered, but they were assured by the security man that they were sick as fuck. So you're responsible refuses to give a reasonable explanation of events. They are sued for damages, but plead insanity. <laughs> Alright. Final ride breaks box office records. <laughs> yeah, if you saw this, there's no security tapes to be like, yeah, this guy fucking took a jar out on the promotional hearse. He broke this shit. No, trust me, it was definitely a haunted hearse, guys. Trust me. This game's kind of sick. It's really short, though. Five bucks for this, but as you're speedrunning, I guess it's not really a point. It's alright. It's just, yeah, it should be probably way cheaper than it is. Oh, well. It's a 15-minute game. It's really short. It's pretty cool, though. That's the good news about it. Let's get back in there. Okay, where do I find it in here, though? Because I don't remember how it works. An alien-themed Chuck E. Cheese is kind of sick. Where did I go play these at? I sucked at free play, but I'm not sure how to go do that. Hold up. I just I think I just select a box, right? Where's that? At? There, I picked it. There we go. Perfect. Bam! It's the first game, anyway. And I need a display capture. I think. Hold up. Blam. 
Ooh. H. H is for Hunzvani. Not whatever the hell it said a second ago. Ignore that. Finland, June 24th, 1888. Farmhouses across the nation are preparing for to celebrate the midsummer. Drew heinous. Considered to be a magical night, many younger folks participate in playful rituals and fun games. One of these games was called the... The... Hoonsvati. There's an H on screen, yes. It's inside the spiral. Anyway, uh, that's just the same thing again, I think. Let's go start the game. I know it's hard, but you can't stay inside all day. It happened last year was your own fault anyway. You keep blaming the others. Just play nice with them. Don't give them an excuse. Why you try that thing I told you about? Seven flowers down the well. I don't believe in these things, but that's how I met your mother. She was still alive to see what kind of a coward you become. Can't imagine how hurt she'd be. I get out. I need to remind you what you took from me. Anyway, time for the festival! Yay! Who should a flower? Drop seven flowers in the well and you will see the reflection of your future love. Anyone loving you here seems impossible. Flower. I'm just a little fucked up with the FOV on this, but I don't know. Which hello, roof guys. You're supposed to rain today? You're trying to get wet, haha. -huh. They're gonna piss. I'm gonna get away from the piss, guys. Yay, anyway, time for the well. First one down. What, did you just push me? That's so rude. Oh, this guy's getting his ass beat, what the hell? Oh, they're using him to fling these things? What, the fling bread? Okay, sure, why not? Do I need this? No. Random wheat. I think on the wheat maze first. I think there's some annoying flower in here, right? No field work on Juhanus. Ow, fuck, that hurt, man. I'm not working, man. I do nothing. I ain't doing no work. You can't make me. Oh fuck, is that my sprint meter stamina meter? If I if I run too foot much, I'll pass out. Alright, cool anyway. Eh. Down the wall you go. This is midsummer the game, I guess. You? Puma Lauta. That costume's even better than last year's. Can't wait to see how the little pa Pasca reacts. It's mommy time. Fuck. Hate it when it's mommy time, that's not good. Who was this? Finland, a land of stoic people. Every man and woman feed fence for themselves. Children learn from a young age to never show their true feelings. Being different means to be shunned. And to learn it the hard way. I don't see the spooky monster, but we're good for now. Let me try to get through here. The tunnel of branch beaten. There's a flower. Is there more in this field, by the way? There is. There's one back there. Let me get that. Before I get attacked. No field work, only fun. I'm trying to get around the field. There we go. Flower. I need seven of these bad. There's another one chasing me over there. Holy fuck. Okay, let me go. Oh shit. Eee! Ow, I got beat. Getting beat up. Ah! You kill me, but mommy still loves you. I'm straining my stamina. Okay, well, is that it? Should the monsters come here too? Well, I didn't die, but I'm I mean shit here. I forgot what it means to be true. Ow, fuck my bones. Okay, well, oh shit. I just want to see what this is. A Uhanus maple it was built to celebrate a good harvest. Dancing around the maple is said to ensure fertility. Ow, fuck. Kind of rude to hit me like that. Is this something? I'll just make sure there's scarecrows of black hair. Those are born with black hair from a bad seed, apparently. All right. This something? 
statues of tribute to Musta Hakalo, who founded this village in the year 1666. Defended Finland from invading Viking forces with the help of the gods themselves. Some stories say he was severely depressed and suffered from psychotic episodes. Wow, such a good story. Anyway, let me go. Fucking stop that. Oh, here's one. Found a flyer. You can't stop me. If I'm going to the cool well. Cool well you're not allowed in? Oh shit, hold up. Bam. Halfway done. He'll assign you the true meaning. What is this? More lore. Tend to whip themselves the uh, Vitenha when in a sauna. Helps you clean your body while leaving a nice fragrance. Probably more about suffering, though. <laughs> Suffer in the sauna. Looks like meat. I'll have to take it, though. Okay. No meat for me. Avoid the piss, by the way. Avoid the piss! Okay. Uh, where's the flower? I need to find flowers. Communal toilet. Is there, is there one behind here, actually? There's not. There's a dead cat. What the fuck? It's been able to cat to the outhouse. You've been feeding this cat since spring, despite your father's objections. Maybe someone saw you do it and is trying to upset you. What kind of Johannes ritual you never heard of. Okay, where's the next flower? Because I would like to find it. Man, go away. I'm not doing no field work, man. You can't make me. Oh, things are getting spookier out here. We got the spooky colors. Shit. Come on, get away from me. Where's the next flower? Is this something? They are playing Truce Linko. One who gets the bread to fly the furthest is the winner. Never allowed you to play. They say you're too weak. You handle getting your ass beat by the thing. I don't know these flowers are. There's, so, oh, there's one back here, isn't there? Where the fuck is the flower? Barrel. Most popular Johannes tradition is getting immensely drunk. The village brews its own beer, so it's never short supply. Others have been drinking every day since you were born. <laughs> Where's the other flowers? I think we've seen most of the outside of this place. There's one. Found it. Hold up. Oh, okay, I found both of them. I know where they both are at this point. Alright, cool. He's trying to attack me specifically. Shit. Well, that ain't nice. I can find my way back here, that's nice. We need to find my way through the fence there. At some point. Okay, so back by the Scarecrow, I guess. Oh shit, this is such a bad entrance. Whatever. Eh. One more? No, there's two more. Suffering like a true fin. Two more, I guess. Oh fuck, ow, I'm getting my butt handed to me. It's around here somewhere. Oh, fuck. Hello. It's like right here, right? There we go. Found it. Found one of them, at least. Oh, shit. He's on my butt. There's a second. Oh, they're both around here, actually. Holy shit. Ah, uh... oh, come on. Not right now. Not right now. Don't spook me. I'm gonna die. Yeah, she's gonna get me. Oh, God. They recognize her own whore mother? My stamina. Being strained. Where is, I don't know where she is, but I'm scared. Ah! Ah! Give me kisses. Who likes to be kissed? Okay, there we go. We have one more flower after this. I need to go through the spinning wheel of hell again. Let's me together, my love. Oh, fuck. He's stuck in there, too. They're both stuck in there. No, they're not. Hold up. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna be knocked over. Oh, shit. The pigs are doing something. Hey, everybody. So you know this is a Johannes mood. What to do? Get the Hunsvati. Shit. I'm the Hunsvati? Fuck. Okay, where am I going? I, I, I took too much damage and shit. That's why I'm dying here. Okay, hold up. I know where I... Oh, fuck, there's a second one. Okay, I need to go through... There's like a hole in the fence here too, right? There we go. I can get it from here. I'm so close. It's right. I need to get escape from this, this fucking dead end. And not lose all my stamina. I'm, I'm dying. Someone's hitting me. There we go. I got knocked out by the big boy. Hunsvati, I'm dying. I can't get away from them. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm the Hunsvati. It turns out I'm stuck. I can't move. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Hunsvati is such a slob. We'll be sleeping with the hog. 
Come on. No. Can I get out of here? I think I'm fucking dead. I think I freaking died. I was close. I think that, that last hour I left there. Oh shit, the hog! It's squirting milk on me! What the hell? I think I lost. <laughs> Well, that's a good that's a good uh, lose game condition is get hogged on. What the fuck? <laughs> Village harvest barley is the most important crop since the beer is brewing from it. No fair work allowed on Johanna, so better stay out of the fields. Okay, so uh, I need to go for the watch my call it first. I need to go for that dead end one. That dead end flower is the most important. This one could work too. This is also an awkward spot. There's the the field creature. I'm gonna try not to trigger those things too until later. Should I need to get around him. There we go. Hey, where's that dead end flyer? I need to get that like right away. I beat this before, so it's possible. It's just okay. We need to get we need to get these ones behind here. We'll have the chance before this becomes hard. It's spinner like crazy later. There's the one right there, and there's one over here even further. This one was the one I left for last. This one was fucked. Make sure we don't have to worry about this one ever again, because this one is in a, such a bad location. Get away from me. And my stamina gets worse the more I take damage throughout the game. I've just noticed that now. That's no bueno. Here, here's the costume again. Mommy time? Oh boy. Ah, shit, I got freaking bonked. Get this other one here, too. And these that are near this freaking spinning thing. Give me that. Give me the flower. Get away from me. Whoop, there we go. Gotta have a plan for these things. Okay, so let's go through here, I guess. I think I can get around one of these fields, I'm not sure. Okay, this flower is doable. Let's get the flower field. Actually, I think I got that one already. Let's get this one. Ow, fuck. It'll happen, whatever. Four down. Hmm. Oh, there, are there two of these the whole time? That's fucked up. Alright, hang on. Maybe not. There we go, found one. Oh, there's two, oh, there's one back there too, shit. Give me a fucking thing. Yet. Oh shit, I'm getting attacked. Uh, 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 flower, flower. Go, in, in the hole. <laughs> Did I escape? Holy shit, alright, cool. There's one around the corner here, I think. I'm not, we're not too black and white right now. We actually managed to avoid everything so far. We've taken, like, no damage. I guess this is the first one I'm supposed to get, but I missed this. Whatever, it's fine. Fuck! Oh god, I'm dead. She's gonna get me. I'm lose so much stamina from this. God. No, oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm almost there. No! Ah, I got- <laughs> Ugh. That reduced my stamina a shitload, okay. Okay, where's the last one? I don't know where it is. In a field somewhere, I imagine. Alright, hmm. Don't get pissed on, too. Don't get pissed on. All right, there we go. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm doing too well, so they're throwing this at me. I'm getting pissed on a little bit. Where, where am I trying to go to? Fuck. Get away from me. Get away from me. I don't know where the flower is, but yeah, I'm getting chased big time. No field work on Johannes, alright. The one back here, maybe? No, it wasn't back here. Oh my god, I got. Oh, I'm running out of stamina. I'm getting to the part where I'm dying. Getting fucking killed here. Oh god, okay, so where the hell is this last flower? I don't know where this last one is. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, hang on. Uh, maybe was it back here? Oh, 
last fucking flower is. Okay, hmm. Where the fuck is this last one? I, I don't know. Hmm. I gotta walk around the outside a ton until I find it. He was here by this field. It was. Here, go found it. She's gonna get out of here now. This is the last one. I'm just gonna make it back to the well. It's gonna be too hard. I'm just gonna get past this spinny thing of death. I'm not in Hunzvadi territory. I'm not getting yelled Hunzvadi yet. Okay, wait, I think I won. There we go. Seven walls, flowers down the well. You're the one, my true love. In the name of Perkele. Oh shit. Kill them all, my love. All the villagers responsible. Push on their limit. Oh shit, I can yeet them. Damn. Okay, well. Eh. Explode. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hercule! Bam. Oh, I can just push them. Okay, sick. Yeet! Bam. Alright, cool. Yeet! I didn't die. I need to hit something. Okay, cool. Blop. I read this, with the, I read this ending part entirely. This part's so fucking weird. Just yeet. Anyway, the devil shows up. You gotta, like, kill everybody. No? Alright, whatever. It's you there, monster. Die. And explode. Shit. Alright. Where are you at? Explode and die. Great. Oh, that, the tree doesn't count? Fuck that. There we go. Cool. Where are you at? Yeet. Yeet. Any more? Yeet. I forgot. Yeet. Die, mother. Eh. Is that it? There's more, right? I don't see him. They're around here somewhere. I totally forgot there was a thing that was happening in this. Oh, there we go. Explode. Any more? There's this one. Okay, cool. Pop. How many more? Where are you hiding? <laughs> Want the game to be over now. We're done with Hoon's body. Come on. <laughs> I'm flying. Holy. Oh, I, I can jump. Oh my. I have infinite jump height. What the fuck? Oh, never mind. I can just do this. Lol. I got big hops. Yeet. So I got the rooftop guy. That's why. Okay. Where they at? There you are. Bam. Blop. Okay. God damn. <laughs> Just got super hops, I didn't realize. <laughs> Just didn't press the jump button. Holy shit. Oh, there they are. Fuck you, roof pissers. Get exploded. I'm gonna throw you into that guy. Oh, he's in the sky. Shit, whatever. If I soft lock myself, that would be so pissed. Oh, there we go. Got him. Okay, cool. Oh. Is that everybody? Could be, right? Or who am I missing? I don't see anybody. Oh, oh no, there's one. Eh. Pop. Pop. You've done it! One more thing to do and we can be together. Let's go meet your father. <laughs> okay, shit, why not? My father's a pig? I'm proud of you, my love. There's nothing that can stop you anymore. The world is ours. I go and make them all suffer. Oh, we killed our dad. All right, well. All right, shit. Well, well Finland. Finland, everybody. Big round of applause for Finland. Very, very great. I forgot how that game ended. That was, I, I, I wiped that from my memory completely. This game's so goofy. Holy shit. Apparently I played this two years ago or something. I don't remember what it's about at all. Except I'm in the back room. You know, the one. Oh, hello. 
Hello, Mr. Clean. How you doing today? Rise and shine? Today's your lucky day, mister. Okay, I don't know how. It's my, I, I remember how to get out of bed, Mr. Clean. You need to help me out here. Fitting is so very important to me. I want to share it with you. Now, get up. Okay, I, I will rise for you, Mr. Clean. What do I need to do now? I, I guess uh, I'm, I'm cleaning over here. The outside world is such a messy place. We're inside right now, my guy. No clue how anything makes it its way into here. Anyway, go ahead and clean this up. Okay, how do I... I did it. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me, father? On to the next room you go, mister. Okay, I'm going to clean now. Over here. Uh, maybe this pile of radioactive piss? Okay, what, what do I do? Pesky birds always making a mess, but not to fear. The magic eraser, trademark. Should get the goo right out of these carpets. Uh, get erased. I did it. Are, aren't you proud of me? No. Only silence. Somebody left big rocks here, huh? That's kind of weird, right? This is a two-tool job for sure. These are my favorite. Enjoy. Okay, well, let me use my hammer here. Then I guess I need the... The pan? I need to sweep shit up? I think that's what I gotta do, yeah? I can't magically erase these, I wanna say. I did it! Good job, mister. Cleaning just comes naturally to you, huh? Yay! Huh? What now? It's even worse than yesterday. It's okay, though. You know what to do. I sure do, Mr. Clean. Eh. This luminescent dirt shall not be a problem for us. There's that bird. Get him. Clean them. Okay, maybe... What, oh, hang on. What, what do I gotta do here? Do something about the birds. Okay. Eh. 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 Erased. I did it, Mr. Clean. Good. Okay, I need, I need the hammer. You know what? I like the sculpture. Leave it and sleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind, we're good. Uh, if I look in the mirror and I become Mr. Clean, I wouldn't be surprised. One of us... One of us. <laughs> Join us. Okay, there's no one here. and There's just a bunch of birds and there's no more tools. I'm concerned. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Clean? I want to clean. W where are you guys at? I, I need to clean up some stuff. Hello? I'm so excited to see if Mr. Clean's in the store for me tomorrow. Oh, hold up. I got the wrong Mr. ending. What? Let's try this again, except let's actually, like, disobey them or something. I don't know what I can do. Yeah, how, how do I get the other ending? Hold up. Do I just need to ignore them? Do I need to go to the end or something? <laughs> what did I miss? Apparently I got the inner is bliss ending, which means I need to piss them off or something. <laughs> yeah, what's over here? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nothing? I guess I break the sculptures, huh? Maybe, yeah. We can try that. I can't. It's gonna tell me about the magic eraser a billion times. I, oh, I need, I need the, the pan. Hold up. Not this. Dang. Oh, I can't do a murder. I know, right? Why can't I kill this stupid bald fuck? How dare you? Get off of my television, you piece of shit. 
Yeah, they, they just, they're really just like an abrasive thing. It's like, you just scrub whatever the hell's under it, too. It's like sandpaper. Mild sandpaper, I guess. You did it. Hooray. Eh. Okay, so I guess we need to clean up the sculptures and not talk to him. I'm not listening to you. Eh. 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 I'm gonna break this thing. I can't? Okay, how do I get the other ending thing? I can't break these sculptures. Okay, what, what do I gotta do here? You're looking real good, mister. And when he pointed to disturbing that sculpture, okay. I'm back anyway, but there's that's good. I'm tired of being so lonely here. He's got to read the mirrors, huh? No clue how birds keep getting in. I haven't found a way ever since the fall. Hmm. What does this thing say to me? Room got pretty messy again, huh? Okay, you can tell him in the morning. Time to sit here all night again, pretend everything's okay. Okay, so I guess selecting one or the other does something different that really do much. <laughs> that was it? Alright, well, that's weird. <laughs> Wasn't really much of a difference between the two, but alright, sure. <laughs> Wasn't worth a second playthrough, but... No more jamming. Only being scared is allowed now. Ever since my beloved wife Kanako disappeared, I keep having this recurring dream. We are in our old house, but everything looks still and unreal, like it's frozen in time. It's in the Unreal Engine, my guy. I see her outside the window, but she can see me or hear me. Strange things then usually happen. And I always wake up horrified. The scary thing happens, and I cry for a while. I'm gonna turn up a little louder, actually. Hold up. Just a little bit. Just like... Ugh. I think the main menu music was kind of loud. Let's just go to, like, 69. That's better. Funnier number. American mattress. With no sheets on it, for some reason. Oh, no. Not this again. Okay, a bit louder, it turns out. All right, uh, you get to go up to 80. Hopefully you don't blow my eardrums. Hmm. <coughs> Even this nightmare where I live in a house. Kanako found out she'd been adopted, she's been trying to solve the mystery of her roots. Something the Kanako room key, okay. One of her journeys. I know she wouldn't just leave us without notice. Authorities also, we don't get subtitles the entire time, I guess. Just sometimes. Never look back. Don't look back. Hades told Orpheus that he could take Eurydice with him, but under one condition. Follow him while walking out of the light from the cave in the underworld. But if he should not look back at her before coming out of the light, or else he would lose her forever. Or if he was a patient, he'd have Eurydice as normal. I'm gonna get in by his side. Don't even think about it. Alright, so don't turn around. Don't stop. There we go. Don't even turn around even a little bit. Gotcha. I'm at the end of a hall, I have to turn around though. He. Uh. Oh! I looked back. Jukes! Oh, this is okay. This Ever since oh, hang on. I know what they want me to do. They want me, they want me to run backwards through the hall. That's fucking dumb. Dream. I'm you pressing the any key. House, but... There we go. Okay. They, they really mean it or else I'm going to kill with a random cutesy doll. Okay. Run backwards a little bit. That's so stupid. Okay, how about now? Am I allowed to look back at the end of the hallway? Okay, I did it. All right. What? Do I, do I have the key? 
corridor key, of course. Well, it's for you, right? Locked from the other side. Come on. Where's this go to, then? Here, perhaps? No. Corridor. That's where we are. Like, what the fuck? What needs unlocking? Did I miss a thing? Oh, yeah, here we go. May suggest running? From what? Oh my god! The doll that's making weird noises at me. Help! Oh, I need to do this fast. Hold up. Remove? Am I dead? I can't remove any of these. There we go. Now I can. Okay, great. I'm safe. In the shower room key? Come on. Hall key. Kanako has always been an uncommon woman. Not traditionally in any way. She would refuse to conform. Shower room, okay. She would sometimes hear and see things that other people could not. She's connected to the world. Just forget this other key, okay. Just, like just for the hall key. She's different. She knows and sees something. Great job. I love finding keys. The favorite thing to do. What the hell is that? The walls of your mind trap you in. <gasps> oh. So very clever. Okay, I found the key I was looking for from the beginning. Very good. Wowie zowie. So good so far. I barely remember this game at all, but I, I don't remember, like, what the hell even happens in this. I, I guess we just do this hallway segment, then what? Oh! Dolls! I just woke up from my recurring dream, and I need to wash my face and drink some water. I'm camping with my daughter Cheryl at the same spot me and Kanako used to camp years ago. Fascinating. The day, she told me that she wanted to bring Cheryl here, too, to camp all together, but we never got the chance. Because soon after giving bird, she disappeared. She just fucking vanished? I feel like she had a special... Enjoy the kid, bye. Maybe Cheryl will feel the same. Just throws in a fucking smoke bomb in the hospital and then just leaves. Oh shit, apple and a gun? Hell yeah. Or sorry, a flashlight, whatever. Good enough. Look up, check out my cool gun here. Better go back to camp before Cheryl wakes up. Here's the unoptimized laggy section, hell yeah. Classic stuff. Oh my god. What they killed her teddy bear! Cheryl? Cheryl? Scary monsters in woods, daddy doesn't believe me. <laughs> hmm. Where at? Where do you need to go? Back to woods? This is the right way to go, I don't even know. They pitched down some random text-to-speech. I don't know what the hell. It sounds really dumb and bad. Who? who? Huh? They broke my bench? Man, that sucks. <laughs> that bench just gave up. It was like, no, don't sit on me. Fuck you. <laughs> you have to stand up, buddy. I'm so tired. I want to have a seat. No. None. None for you. Toilet. A save toilet, apparently. I just got a save thingy. Okay, where am I go? Oh, hang on. Is this a thing? Can I go in here? No. Construction site key. Okay. Hmm. What the hell's this? Random plank in the woods. Fuck! Okay, no, it's fine. Give me this. It looks like a clue. I better take it. It reads, 
Life is about joy, pain, and learning, smiled the old man. All right, sure, whatever. Great note. This will come in handy at a later date, I guess. What the hell is this? Maybe they can make it make sense at some point. Right now, it's just like... Cool stuff. Great, great puzzle. Where's my Glock that was promised? I want to shoot a monster in the face. Oh. Yep, that's a splatter noise. Thank you. A uh, couple of dolls. Oh, hello. More dolls exploding out there. Very nice. Hazard sight key. One health drink for me. Great. <laughs> I don't know where the hazard site is, but it's around here somewhere, I guess. Not the construction key, huh? What's over here by these lights? Do we need to find something specific or what? I remember this part. I don't remember what to do in this part, but I remember this part exists. More saving toilets, okay. Find the password. Five stages of grief. Okay. Hmm. Five rest of stages from yeah. All right. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. What does that matter here in this context? Am I gonna find somewhere that has like a number value for each of those or what? Boy, does that sound annoying. Hmm. Eat shit in here, but an auto save. You there, well, give me something of value. Damn. Can't use it either, whatever. Instruction site key? I know where that is. Alright, so let's try that. Unless this is hazard site here. None of the monsters have gotten anywhere near me yet. So far, this is pretty nice. My horror game, where they don't try to spook me at all. No, no scary monster near you. It's fine. They'll, they'll get you later. They're too busy right now. Uh, standing still in grass. <laughs> Hazard sight. What's the hazard? Just run and jump, Lamal? What? Okay. Squat, or I guess I'll die, huh? Walk normal, okay. Walk normal, I can do that. Take a huge shit on the spikes, you got it. I can see them popping into existence in the edge of my frame, edge of my screen here. Kind of weird. And jump! You did it, hooray, now what? Actually, yeah, no, what, what the hell? Is there a thing I need to grab? Oh, there it is. What if I gave you my life instead? He asked the devil. Good one, didn't I go back the way I came? Oh, nice. <laughs> well! I just woke up from my recurring dream, and I need to wash my face and drink some water. I get Smommy back here, that's the good news. That's real nice. Thank you, game. So good. So good. Do I even need to go in there? I got a clue there that didn't really matter, it seemed. I think those notes correspond to something. I don't know. I need to go back to the construction site, right? Yeah, because I have the key for that. Maybe the note is like supposed to be for like denial, anger, and all that, and like the page number matters. I think it's what it is. I don't know though. Did I get a page over here? I kind of fucked up and didn't see.
So I have one page, right? Okay, there's clue number one. This one didn't give me a clue. It just gave me like some random bullshit, right? Yeah, there's no clue here. No one's holding one. Okay, cool. I don't remember what that, that page over there in the hazard site even said, but like, I'm not sure I get I get back from there and live because it seemed kind of bullshit. Hmm. I guess each of these places is just gonna have a clue for me to like assemble the password from that. It's only a one time save, damn that sucks. It's not a checkpoint you can get all the time, huh? Alright, so uh, don't fuck up and don't die. Rawr, don't mess up your jump, buddy. Oh my god! Clue? Well, can I see what it says? It's not true. It can't be true, screamed the parents. Alright. Denial. Cool. Oh, so, such great constructing. A bunch of water tanks and then, like, three scaffolds. Very good. We're, we're trying our best here. We're making our... We're making our thing here eventually. Come back. It'll be here at one point. Wait, can I save here now? No. Okay, so where am I going? Somewhere something does a thing. I need to find at least four of the clues, I think, to be able to... Uh, progress here. Hmm. I think it's a new porta potty, right? I could use the save here. Yay, okay. Avoid the spooky monster and his funky theme song. This house will surely have a clue for me. Right? As a first aid kit for me, which... I haven't taken any damage yet, but alright. Uh, come on. Yeah, this one does. There we go. What's left to live for, whispered the soldier. Yeah, take that, please. You find one. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, we can guess the last number. Yeah. Oh fuck! Really? Someone's attacking me, being spooky. What's this random whistle coming out of nowhere? Random flute. Rar. He's gonna grab me. He's gonna grab towards me. Oh god. Oh my god. Now go away. I'm done with you. Stop chasing me. We're good. Okay. Said you'll stop, and they're like, okay. My, my mistake. Can okay, I grab this and not die? It's like, I don't know how to leave once I'm at the end. Getting through it the first time was not a big deal, but getting out of there might be kind of fucked up. Sprint. Crouch. Hmm. You're welcome to Beyond Horror again. Episode one of one. There's no, there's no more than one. There's never episode two. Okay. Big crouch. And what do we got? Sprint. And jump. Can I, I don't think I can make it out of here, right? This one is... What if I gave you my life? Is it bargaining? And it's number eight. Okay, cool. I think that's all. I, I, I have four clues. It should be enough to get the last one. I think I need to actually jump out of here, right? <laughs> Oh, that worked. Okay, uh, fuck. I think we're running here. 
think it's Crouch here for sure, yeah. Hmm. Two Watt Comleys. I don't get pushed by that random jitter that happens there. <laughs> One crouch. And then run, Lamal. Okay, cool. Okay, so we can go enter the code. We can figure out this last number pretty easily, I guess. Just gotta guess. I don't know where else to check, even. There's so many games that come out that are just like either prologue or episode one, and they never have any other episode ever again. <laughs> I don't know why they even like think the name of their game that like it doesn't like help them. It just makes people want to buy your game less because they're gonna know it's the only it's the only game, man. <laughs> Who cares? The big brain plays to name your game like two, like I don't know, Beyond Horror Two, and there's never an original. Nobody, nobody will fucking know. <laughs> okay, so I need what's this one? Joy, pain, and learning. Smell the old man. I guess it's acceptance, so the final number's four. Uh, middle number's eight. Five something. Five blank. Eight for bargaining. Two, four. Five something, eight, two, four. All right. Oh, I'm so ballin'. First try every time. <laughs> yeah, enter the void. After wandering aimlessly for some time, I finally found a road and followed it for a while. I see some structures in the distance. Maybe I'll find some help there. I need to find Cheryl. You got I taken by the woods the monsters. We're too busy look doing stupid puzzles and shit to care. <laughs> Huh? A bloody note? Big lake house looks safe, hiding and waiting for daddy. Okay. Never heard of that one. I thought we, we get a gun at some point. I thought we'd get one from like here. Like, ah, two cop cars. Just take the gun, Lamao. Private property. No trespassing. Yeah, too bad, buddy. I'm already here. <laughs> I'm not sure if they ever even plan to have more than one game. They just want to name it Prologue because they might help or something. Yeah, no Glock to shoot this guy, so, uh... Time to run away. Whoa! The spooky flute's happening. No, no more spooky flute! Okay, thank you, actually. I did it, hooray. Yeah, apparently. I played this one, like, two or three years ago or something. I barely remember it. <laughs> yeah, give me a book. Ah, uh, the water book. I love water. <laughs> okay, I swear we get a gun at some point, but I don't know. Did I need this for something? I swear I needed this for something. Water, H2O. Water, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Hello, water. You're my favorite liquid. Ah, good doggy. Okay, I love you. Bye bye. Gun. Press G to gun. Nice. Okay, so uh, I can sh kill zombos now. I should go this way, right? Here's that house, I think. It's like a real weird architectural thing. You there. Can I shoot the bad guy? No, he, the fence is immune, damn. Hold on. Gotta go in through the underground entrance or something. Kitty? Whoa, curse of Rob be upon you. Cat. Good job, Daddy. No, no problem. Kitty here. Alright, there's two more kitties. I'm not sure what to do with these. Maybe put them on here, too.
Eh. Well, that kitty's defective. A hell to chopper. Let me take this out of here. Once I find my donor. Okay, what do we got here? Hello, duck? There we go. Jill said their doggy was strange and they had to restrain him and put him in a cage. But since then, he has been doing worse and worse. He is scary. Jill is very nice, though, and she really looks like Mommy from those pictures Daddy showed me. Uh-huh. Anyway. Spooky doggy on the loose. He had a key here, didn't he? Heard borking, but I don't see no dog. What do we got here? Oh, a chest. I can't open this, though, right? Can I shoot it open? There's no way, right? Yeah, they wouldn't do that. Shoot once, gotta reload. I don't make the rules. Oh my god, a normal person. Kill them. Oh, it didn't work. Whatever. <laughs> cool, anyway. Zach Champs is one of the richest men in the world. Little's known about him. Because he literally appeared on Technology Spotlight out of thin air. He, su he successfully founded a startup that granted him fame, success, and money. As time went by, he became more and more obsessed with the utopian dreams and bought a giant lake house where he retired. He is rumored to be conducting some experiments at the edge of the legality there. Ooh. Illegal experimenting. Open the... Oh, open? Open? Thank you. What do I get? I get a note. Winter. <laughs> do I need this? This is important? It's a clue. I get, okay, I need the, win the winter thing. That's it? <laughs> you hear me for a piece of paper that says winter on it? <laughs> uh, did you get scared? I need the bathroom key. Okay. Hello? Something loud just happened, I'm not sure why. Oh, there's the bathroom key, what do you know? Mr. Champsk has already been interviewed before, and his ideas, together with the amount of money he had to invest, raise some concerns. Apparently he's obsessed with the origin of life and the true nature of humankind. Whoops, wrong button. I think they already figured that out, like, but sure, go ahead. Knock yourself out, bud. Open, please. Thank you. More lore? Some claims have been invited by Mr. Champs himself to visit the mansion. Or some claim to have been invited to visit the mansion. Okay. Report that even if it looks like very big from the outside, the inside looks strangely narrow and odd, like it was designed for somebody different. The big pool outside was also not usable for leisure activities. Whatever that means is up to speculation. Some reports surfaced a long time ago, claiming Mr. Champs was experimenting on traveling over the surface of liquids. You mean a fucking boat? Which basically stands for walking on water. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. You mean water skiing? Could it be that he's carrying out experiments with his own pool again? It's only speculation. Only time will tell. I think he's swimming, my guy. Any key in here or something? I don't think so, right? Eh. Hmm, mystery. Anyway, G for Glock. This house is narrow as fuck. What was that noise? Yeah, it's nice and loud. It was a little bug fell. We got a little water skitter here. Nice. You there. Stop it! Bad! Bad monster! Bad monster! I win! Am I in the pool right now? Alright, well, it's, it's just all wet out here, why not? Looks like a clue, it says, Each element represents a specific season, apart from Earth, which sits in the middle. Winter is water, for example. Okay, well... Why'd I find a piece of paper that said winter around it then? What did that do for me? <laughs> Alright, whatever. <laughs> I don't understand. We'll take that, I guess. Sure. 
These clues sound very stupid. I'm here for it. Hmm. Oh, I can go somewhere. Okay, hold up. Ugh. Mannequins, alright, sure. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Can I open the door, though? Nope. They're locked to me forever. Just kidding. Okay, I'll go in there. A clue. Your new book is being printed right now, and I'm making sure the finest quality is being used. The shipping process will start shortly, and you should have a delivery coming to your house, just like you asked. Water is the source of life on Earth. Should, I should write a book about it. Yeah, I found that book earlier. Do you need to, like, find it, too? Two skies. What's this one? UFO. Everything about the PC. Butterfly. The truth about the Mayan. What's this? Molecular molecules. Sunset, beautiful space. Right, sure. I wouldn't eat any of these books. They all look terrible. What are you? Whoops. Facilities in Mr. Champ's house on the lake are known to have cost him billions of dollars. This house, like, is very small. Like, it'd probably be like a couple million, but like, no way. But nobody knows what exactly kind of experience he's actually conducting. What is known is that the interest revolves around creating life from scratch, cloning and looking for life on other planets. The research carried out by this facility is completely classified, but many are now raising the questions. Is he able to conduct illegal experiments b because he has money? Is it also a big urban legend? Oops. Hey, what are these? DVD? DVD satellite? <laughs> this is a fucking Asian coin. But big. Do I need these for something? Do you need to take that to the DVD player or something? What are we doing with those? Would you like some brain for dinner? <laughs> oh! There's a lot of health drink here too, I think, right? Yeah, health drink. Alright, I haven't taken damage at this whole game, but I mean... Might as well get four health drink if I need it. The mannequins suddenly decide they want to attack me. I'm fucked. Yep, it's a pile of meat and blood and viscera. That's so nice. Billionaires in their fucking meat room. I hate that. Well, they all got one of those. It's impossible to really say what lies beyond inside Mr. Champska's house. Reports claim he has warehouses and satellites dishing, dishes lying around, and some even say the whole area has an underground facility, only secretly accessible from a hatch in the woods. Alright, so I gotta go find the woods. I, I can't access his hatch. It's secret and I can't get it unless I go in the frickin... Out there somewhere! I wasted my time in this stupid fucking house. <laughs> Thank you, game. Very cool. I love having to go all the way back out to the frickin' woods. Thank you. I'm out of here. Oh, do you want to spend time in the house? Yeah, no. Go fuck yourself, buddy. It's woods time for you. Teleport the woods. Okay, then. Where's the hatch? Woods. Figure it out. That's more of a you problem there. Oh my god, look out! Okay, I got him. <laughs> where the hatch is? Are you the hatch house? You got a hatch for me? You got a hatch at? But I need, I need a hatch, man. Wood shack key, of course. Hmm. Not that easy. That'd be like a key there. Man. Where to? Oh no, a monster! Okay, got it. <laughs> this the hatch in the woods, finally? <laughs> this random fucking thing? No. Wait, maybe. To gather all the five elements, the doors of knowledge will open for you. 
wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. Were there numbers in those books or something? Because I don't remember seeing a number in any of them. Here, here's the wood hatch. Okay, so I need to... Or the hatch. I need to find... Hmm. Wood, fire... Earth, water, metal. Alright, hmm. You can find a book on every one of them. There's the whole truck full of water books. I need to see if there's one with a number on it or something. I don't know what they want from me. This game is dumb, and I'm not sure what the hell they want aside from use the books. I think I beat this game last time I played it, so... I should be able to solve the puzzle, but at the same time, like, come on. I don't want to... I'm not sure if these chests mean they do with anything. Hold up. No, did I read this before? Found coin, make a wish. I don't have a coin for this. Do I need to bring that stupid coin from up there to uh, all the way down here? I, I wouldn't be surprised that's the answer. Let me go check out the water book again, if there's something I need to do there. I might need to bring the DVD down there. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. So here's the water book. Was there anything special about this, or what? Like... It's water. Maybe H2O being the, the thing here, just the temp number two? That's my only guess, is the two of H2O. Otherwise, I don't know. <laughs> what do they want from me? Hmm. Eh. Oh, I can't push that, damn. Does this go somewhere? Hold up, let me try this. This path go somewhere. I haven't been to yet. Because that could be another place to find a thing. Blubbed. A billion shotgun ammo. And a health kit, alright, sure. And then... Cracked egg. Many bullet wants to say. Found a new type of enemy. The skin is much darker and they seem stronger. Faster and more dangerous. We need backup and ammo or we'll be destroyed soon. So this guy? Is this your enemy? Is he scary? You there, are you scary? No, okay. How about you? Are you dangerous? Okay, got him. Oh shit, chess. Do I need to mate the white piece or something? Because it's already dead, I'm pretty sure. What is this? Knight checkmate. There's no knight. Where would knight be? Just like, stand here, lol. Or here. I, don't know, I guess I'm looking for a, a night piece around here. What do we got here? Turlet of saving. Oh, these are the stronger ones. Look out. They're deadlier and spookier. Look out. I must shoot him a little bit. Oh, that took like slightly more bullets. Alright, cool. Whatever. Not alerted. Five bullet and he die, I think. Alright, there we go. No? This one's definitely stronger. Oh my gosh. More inconsistent. Okay, what, what am I doing? Oh, here's all the pieces. I need to get... I guess, uh, a black knight. This question mark. You need to checkmate this fucker. You know, he's already pretty much in mate, I'm pretty sure. I don't think he'd be more in checkmate at this point. <laughs> yeah, put that down here. No? And then the other, other night, I don't know. <laughs> they met the other guy. Oh, 
have to checkmate black even though black doesn't have a king as far as I can tell. Unless maybe white doesn't have a king. That's weird. Which case, uh, like here, I guess. Eh. Is that the king? Who do they want? Here, I guess? Because, like, huh? Is he not the king? That was like a queen, and that's like a bishop or something, but. Okay. I actually hang on, I guess in this case, since he's already there, I guess yeah, you can't you can just go diagonal, can't he? So let me just do something about that. Is that not it? So I guess he could go to this spot, yeah, so that's that would get him. You're like, I got it, sure, whatever. <laughs> Something worked, what did I get? Spring, page four. Okay. What's my other clue? Autumn, page four, okay. This one. Earth, page six. Winter, page seven. Winter, page seven, you are... Okay, so we got winter, earth, autumn, and uh, autumn's an element apparently, and spring. Oh, hold on. We have two winter page sevens? Okay, I guess. I don't know what the, what the fuck is this puzzle anyway. Whatever. And that one down here was what? I think we have enough to solve the puzzle now, I want to say, but I don't know. Let's go back to that hatch. There's a note that tells me. I guess I can drop a coin in the fountain, but, like, who knows. I think I have enough to solve it, though, at this point, yeah? Because apparently the seasons represent elements, so, like, I have... most of those, I guess? I don't get it. There's another door to get into at some point here, it looks like. But I could also skip all that by just being smart and doing the password, I think. Just do good, don't do bad, it's easy. Where is this anyway? I don't remember. Time to go off the path and find it anyway. Alright, here we go. Let me in, actually. Wood, fire, earth, metal, water. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming wood is autumn. Otherwise, I don't know. Summer is probably fire. Okay, so... Winter is seven. Winter was water, is what it told me. Earth is six. Autumn's probably wood, so it's four. Oh no, spring. Sorry, spring's probably metal, I'm assuming. Hmm. Wait, they're both four, aren't they? Hold up. Yeah, autumn and spring are both four, so I guess it doesn't matter which is which. Alright, so four, blank. Uh, Earth was six. Four, blank, six. Four, seven. I'm so fucking goaded. Two in a row, baby. Easy peasy. I must keep pushing forward. Cheryl is still here somewhere, and I'm also starting to feel something else. I feel like Kanako is somewhere around here, too. I wasn't there when she vanished, 
but I won't let our daughter suffer the same fate. I'm going to find her and bring her home, and I can only hope I will also find out something about Kanako too. I love them so much. Great story. I definitely care. Okay, anyway, time to go in the facility. You. And you stop right there. Huh? The owner of this place. You are trespassing. I have a gun. I don't care. What? Leave now. No. You can't make me. I have a Glock. You, you can't tell me what to do anymore. <laughs> okay, I think there's nothing else to this place. Just run through now. Hmm. Listen. I know who you are. You are the husband yeah, of the I've had like... in Conoco. You are not gonna Yeah, there's been a bunch of exposition about this, my guy. Leave. No. I hate this place. It sucks. They really think that by putting a horrible lounge room something would change. This place is horrible and unsafe. We're doing something terrible. I want to go home, but I can't. I want to die. Great note. What about you? You gonna be any better? I literally ruined my life by accepting this job. Fuck money. Okay. What about this one? Uh. Measuring brightness. Lumens recorded. Okay, cool. Not sure that's a clue for, but uh, more clue notes. I have to enter a code again. I need to, like, I'm gonna have to probably guess the last number, too. Sounds great. Thank you, game. What are these fucked up pachinko machines? Fucked up slot machines here. Tap screen to begin. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Smells to go in here, right? Okay. Lounge room just has a picture of like a really shitty, like stock image of like a beach. All right, good stuff. <laughs> Please go this way, sir. Thank you, giant mannequin. Oh. Anyway, bullet. Uh, many bullet. I'm gonna have five billion ammo now. There we go. 150 bullets. If I can't kill something this amount of bullets, I suck, and it's probably too strong gonna kill me anyway. Hold on. Something over here? No. Now I make all the rules, buddy. Hmm. Is this anything? No. This is just a linear level, I guess. Yes, Mrs. Mannequin, as you say. Well, it's quite blue in here. I don't appreciate this. Uh, do I need these for anything? Hello? Male models are getting more aggressive by the day and are now posing a real threat. Oh, jeez. That's the plot of that one shitty comedy movie. <laughs> Termination is mandatory in all models. We are risking a break that soon, all right. Where are we going? Was that it? I just came here for nothing? How about here? Is there something here? How far do I need to go? I think it's where you need to enter the password eventually, which... There's freaking like three doors here, okay. That's a lot of spooky mans. Okay, yeah, whatever. And they gave me 50 billion bullets. I win. Okay, that was easy. At first, I was like, oh shit, there's a lot of them, they're nearby me, but no, now it's really easy. Okay. Read this. Odor units measured on subject seven. Sure. Why not? You smell that guy over there? Yep. He's got so many odor units, this fella. I think it was his note, actually. I messed this earlier. Five human senses are uh, sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. Oh boy, it's the same fucking. It's the same puzzle like five times in a row. It's so cool. Way to go, guys. You did it. Alright, 
Alright, you got me. I did it! Another note? Measuring spiciness activation threshold. Scoville's recorded. Seven? That's like less than a bell pepper, I'm pretty sure. That's like nothing. Seven Scoville's is like jack shit. Like the hottest peppers out there are like millions of Scoville units, by the way. I think like, like a jalapeno or something is, I don't know, 30 or some shit. Didn't die. Whoops. Perish. Hang on. And then give me 50 billion bullets for this. I win! You didn't care about a lot of those. I'm not paying attention to you right now. I'm ignoring your bullets. Huh. There's like pressure applied on body. Pascal 7. I don't know what Pascal's units are, but it's probably not anything either. Is everything just 7? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold the fuck up. I'm not gonna- before I get into the rest of these, I'm just gonna try this. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is it just literally... Okay, good, it's not. <laughs> There's some other numbers aside from seven. Gonna know. What's in here? The stronger spooky man. Okay, hang on. I need to actually probably heal in a sec. I'm gonna get hit. Ow, fuck. Oh, what the- oh, did I mean to kill me in two hits? What the hell? <laughs> Must keep pushing forward. Cheryl is still here somewhere. I fucked up anyway. Let's try that again. Is this anything? Let me go kill the strong guys again. I fucked up big time. I guess those guys just kill you right away. Great. Let me kill the, the dark ones again. Hold up. You know what? Piss off all of them at once. Great. Or miss all my shots, that'd be also nice. Eh. Hearing is six, okay. Did I have another, like, clue in this? Hold up, what are you? Pascal's eight. Pascal's eight. Alright. Light three. Odor units three. Why'd that change? Scovel's nine. Why'd this change? Hold up. Pascal's eight. What the fuck? Why did this fuck it? What, what, what's, what, what's, what's, Mentor's really fucking up here, isn't it? Okay, what do we got here? Sight three. Hearing was. That's touch. Touch is eight, apparently. Light was three, okay. Smell was three. Taste nine. All right, light, blank, nine, three, eight. Hang on, no, hang on. Sight was how much? Sight was three, smell three. Case nine. Okay. Three something nine. Uh, three eight. The fucking three for three. Damn it. Okay, damn, all right. Oh, right, there we go. Third try is the charm, I guess. I'm really starting to lose my patience. No you inventory in space. Danger. This lab is not safe, and you might also not like what you'll find. Please leave now. Please leave, you're not invited! Where's the where's the key go to anyway? Probably back the way I came, I imagine. There was that other path I didn't go down earlier. 
Otherwise, I don't fucking know. Leave my secret lab or you're not going to my birthday party! Oh shit, I want to go to the birthday party though. I was invited before. Yeah, how about over here? Is this there we go, unlocked. Perfect. I know shit about something here. Good. I know how my shitty games work. Please this way, sir. Thank you. What, what is this? So my wife cloning facility. Uncle, for you is this one of your experiments? One of your hybrids? I'm gonna kill you. Anyway. Here I think is ready to go, and I'm not sure. It looks like the same everywhere, so it's hard to tell. Uh is this new? Did it, is this the right way to go? I can't tell. I'm assuming I went the right way. Uh, don't let me walk back up this, please. Okay, it looks like you found out about the experiment. Very stupid, and we're leaving. If you're still so eager to find what you're looking for, you'll have to go with the mother next to and. Shit, okay, let me re let me just shoot this guy a billion times. Okay, how much damage he take? Stop it! Why aren't you die? How much does it take to kill this guy? Actually? How many hundred? Oh, he's dead. Okay, never mind. Let's say how many hundreds of, hundreds of bolts it take to kill him? I know he's gone. <laughs> Easy, I got him. All right. Steep stairs. Then now what? Well, it looks like you are on board after all. We're leaving for my home. My home planet. We'll see what we can do when we arrive. We're on a spaceship now underground. Uh, okay then. Space! Whoa. Man, what a video game. This really just has it all. You get to shoot some monsters. Uh, the same monster, but colored differently. There, there's a captivating puzzle three times. There's even a boss that's just the same guy, but slightly bigger. And he takes, like, triple the ammo. And you get to go to space? That's so crazy. That's that's a lie, by the way. This is the last time we're going to do it. There's literally no other sequels to this. They're, they're not making more of this. That was Beyond Horror Episode 1. Something about a father or whatever. <laughs> Truly a masterpiece of our time.